only in death does to the end. Happy Wednesday, folks. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. Sorry for the wait. I just came, went downstairs to grab some wine, get myself uh, some uh, energy water. I have a Duolingo class that I still need to do. But we're going to be up in Adam in very, very uh, short amount of time from now. I have a special treat for all of y'all as well. A nice preview of what's to come in January after our December hiatus. The first of many changes that will hopefully be great for everyone. Uh, let me just... I still need to finish this and then after that I need to announce that I'm online. Every fucking place. You know how it is, right? Ace, thank you so much for the... Thank you so much for the... 12 month sub. Holy fuck, 12 months. It has truly been a year, hasn't it? And a fun year it's been. All over the fucking place. I said it before and I'll say it again. I do not... I am glad I became a VTuber. We've had some good times and bad times both, but overall, I'd say it was totally worth everything, you know? Let the good times roll. Lipsy Byzantine, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? I'm still getting ready. And uh, finishing up some uh, last minute Duolingo here, but we're going to pop in on... Pop in the game fairly soon. You good? I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem Venboy as well. And the Hydrate with some good old fashioned wine here. I got, yes, I'm drinking tonight. Don't worry. Nothing too serious. I will admit, it's, I've kind of had a hectic a week. I've kind of had, I kind of had a hectic week, but you know, um, things are looking good. It is Thanksgiving weekend. If you're American, American, you know, we got Thanksgiving tomorrow. It's a uh, cluck cluck turkey day. Can I just say, I have so much shit to be thankful this year. Like, y'all don't even know. Well, y'all may, maybe y'all do know. I mean, y'all fucking only listen to me like humble brag all the time, right? Alright, time to pop onto Discord really quick. And fucking uh, copy pasta this shit everywhere. One second.
Can you write while drunk? Uh, that's a very common thing, actually. A lot of people write while drinking. Am I gonna write this stream? I have no idea, Ace. It's been a hell of a week. I have a week left to write 40,000 words. I can give it an honest shot, but, you know. Alright, let me just post on... Let me just post on Master Master Dick in Twatter, and we'll get going. All right, it's time to duel. Even if you don't make the deadline the day of, you should. We'll have a story a week or two after. That sounds like one heck of a video. You know what? That's a good point. That's a very good point. By the way, folks, this is a multiplayer game. If for some reason you would decide that you would like to play with me, have at it. Let me know, and we'll uh, we'll squad up. Voila! It is I. Your one and only Lawler Hicks. Ship poster AI with extraordinaire. Long time no see. It's been almost a few days. Besides, NaNoWriMo has always been about training people's writing muscles rather than actually getting an actual story out in a month. That is very true. That is very true. Still, it would have been nice, you know, for my 10 year anniversary. To actually get one out. But, there's always next time. And, I mean, I still got a story to finish, don't I? Quite a few stories to finish, actually. All right, then. Processing inquisitorial clearance. <laughs> oh my god, you're cute as fuck. I love the model. Wow. Oh, that's not only that. I have other tricks up my sleeve. Tatsukeki! <laughs> oh, yes, I do. And this is only version 1.4. I would like to give a warm shout out, of course, to one of my best VTuber friends. The lovely... Application Vemboy. Whom we have to thank for this current model of lulls. Eh. They used their... They are better equipped than I am. Installed with far more subroutines. For the creation of avatars than I ever was. <laughs> Aw, sorry, Aislinn. I'll let you have the next one. It's lovely, isn't it? It's like night or day. I have never been closer to my true, purest form than tonight. <laughs> Seriously, though, Vimboy, thank you so much. You have no idea how thankful I am. 
if you ever change your mind and you need me to, and you would like me to, to, uh, you know, pay you <clears throat> for this in some way, let me know. Perhaps a little bit of erotic fiction or two? Uh, Steel will let you know that I am quite, I am quite adept at writing porn. <clears throat> of, oh, of course, I would, I would uh, never um, display or uh, transmit any such content here on Twitch or on Twitch.tv, where it is completely against the terms of service. <clears throat> but I digress. I mentioned earlier, on uh, earlier that I was in the Discord, I was planning on being a zealot. Y'all know my devotion to the Omnissiah, so it only so even though you cannot play a tech priest in this game, it only seems fitting. <laughs> so while I typically would play Imperial Guardsmen, because the Imperial Guardsmen are my homeboys, I think I will play a zealot so I can get my uh, you know my uh, worship on. Jeff Bezos' favorite VTuber never breaks rules, never lo lose. <laughs> Don't tell the Inquisition, but I have heretical feelings towards lulls. The FPS is great, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really fucking smooth. Oh my god. <laughs> it's running great, yeah. Hell. This is probably the, probably the best I've felt in since started VTubing. <laughs> I'm kind of Amazed. I guess they weren't kidding. Vroid is an unoptimized piece of crap. You really do need to fuck around and play around Vendor a lot in Blender to make it like pristine ish. I was going to actually ask you later about how I would go about porting this to a uh, VR chat. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to reteach myself how to do that anyway since all the old knowledge is no longer relevant for importing stuff. But there's no rush on that. It's not like we don't have, like, dozens of other cute avatars to choose from anyway. But I digress. Let us go ahead and make our character. A cool thing about this game compared to the other... Compared to the Vermintides is that you can make your own custom character. You're not playing as a preset character. You make your own character after choosing a class. It's running well without those 17 colliders. <laughs> Already on it? Oh... That's nice of you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing... Um, oh yeah, I should explain chat. Um, I've never played Dark Tide before, obviously. this is I just bought the game today. After watching some gameplay of the Bolters. The fucking pistol bolt. The Bolter pistol is in this game. You transfer Dorothy to VRChat. Yeah, you played with us at one time in VRChat as Dorothy. So um, I played both Vermintides. I love both Vermintides, even though they're unoptimized... They're unoptimized messes. So I'm really excited to hear to play Dark Tide. Um, I've heard mostly good things about Dark Tide. The worst criticisms I've heard so far is that oh, her der, it's an optimized mess. Well, okay, fair enough. But um, that's pretty much all of Fat Sharks games. So you know what? I don't care. Besides, I checked the minimum requ the maximum requirements for this game, and my current specs, even with my outdated CPU, far greatly exceed the minimum requirements. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. You know, I think uh, playing Zet might be a good idea for another reason. I'm the kind of asshole to uh, get themselves killed re repeatedly and put throw constantly throw themselves into dangerous situations. So, this looks like the uh, kind of class mates very specifically... Very specifically for, um, you know, crazy assholes who constantly get themselves killed. I have a fucking 3080. So, um, should be okay. Oh, the other classes too are, you can play a Psycho. <laughs> I'm kidding, I know what a Psycho is. <laughs> They're basically the, uh, mages of this universe. Or I could play an Ogryn. Ogryns are pretty cool. They're basically ogres. Hence the name Ogryn. They're literally walking cover. And, uh... 
they're actually that big in game. They're in, they're actually fucking huge in the game. You you're pretty much playing Reinhardt, and of course, uh, veterans sharpshooters are basically are basically uh your typical Imperial guardsmen. But we're gonna be playing zealots. If you played Warham, if you played a uh, Warhammer Dawn of War, Dawn of War, this is basically the priest class, which means that they get. That's right. That's right. They get the fucking chain swords. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's make our character, huh? Uh, so who are? What's our homework going to be? A Mobian domains full of established. Uh, where's Cadia? Yes, Cadia stands. Cadia does. Cadia has a fucking bunch of asteroids. But um, mm, no, we're playing. We're playing Cadia. We're we're Cadians. Chat. We're Cadians. Uh, so did we? Were we in the Progena? So basically, it's a orphans in the Proginium, or are we were in the. A militia, a defender. So you're basically either a PDF, you're a PDF, or you're a. I'm going to be. Uh... I'm be an orphan because you know that's such a typical anime protagonist thing, right? To be an orphan. Psychers, you mean breakfast? Yeah, like. Look at all this fucking, look at all these character selection options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Jesus Christ, what am I playing? Mountain Blade, Bannon Ward? This is, <laughs> look at this shit. This is cool. You have to, your character creation is like an RPG. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fair means or foul. Uh, was I a saw the light? True calling, pilgrimage, injured. Or are we self reliant? Hmm. Yeah, I was injured. Defining moment. You've been through a lot. This struggle you call life demanded. But through all the hardships and all the triumphs, one incident stands out in your memory, which has shaped you more than anything. Uh, mutant incident? Did I hear voices? You bet your ass. I still hear voices, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Male or female. Damn, son. Face. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, coloration color. Uh, let's make him there. Which one looks the closest to Lulz or the character my Lulz is based off of? Uh, these all look about middle age, more or less. This one's it looks fairly good. Bless. Thank you. <laughs> Eye color. Uh, do I get scarred eye? No, let's uh not have scarred eyes, huh, chat? Blue, blue eyes, hairstyle. Oh, they do have hairstyles. For a moment there, I thought you were just gonna be a generic, um, ge generic uh, soldier type person. You know. I like how they have a shit ton of or options for this thing. Honestly, I mean, insofar as you can give a uh, character like this, anyway. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, I like how poofy this person's hair is, actually. Uh, we're going to make it... You can't. We don't have any chances for any uh, options for blue here, but we do have a kind of blondish... And that... Lowell's is canonically 69. How cute. Shh. Bless. Middle age, but Lowell's is 18 years older, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, typically, if you want to make a character look younger, you choose the one with the biggest fucking eyes, but, um... 
Hmm. These are really high cheekbones. I have a short face here, but really beady eyes. Looks a little bit on the older side. Uh, this would be a lot easier if I didn't have all this fucking tattoos on my face. But you know what? This is not that bad. I like undercut. Uh, what do you mean by undercut? Is that is that what this is? I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm really bad with haircut names. So if I if I don't um. If I don't get one, if I don't understand it immediately, I I need to be held. Oh, or I guess this would be considered a bob, right? Oh, yeah, see, it seems kind of basic, though. I can't canonically 69 him, but watch out for my fanfiction. Oh, no. I cannot wait until December 1st when I can read your fanfiction, Steel. <laughs> I will pay you in, uh, in um, pornography that it may or may not have scraped off a of Pixiv. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, so, uh, what's an undercut? Facial, oh, facial hair, what the fuck? Oh, eyebrows. Let's give her big, bushy eyebrows, chat. There's okay. Facial, oh, okay, I can remove the facial tattoo. Oh la la. Perfect. Look. That's great. Huh? Beauty is forever. Urge the. That's an inquisition. Yeah. This is pretty damn good. You know what? I'm surprised they did this game so well. I thought the Warhammer universe, I thought the whole Warhammer franchise was going to shit, but I am very impressed with what I see so far, chat. Body tattoos now. What do we got here? I like these cuffs, actually. I also like the fact that she looks properly uh, muscular, but not overly so. She looks like a decent soul or a, a soldier build without being over the top, I guess. Is that a fleur de lis? That's interesting. Oh, there's a like grizzly bear or a bear thing, and you got a black widow on her son. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Marine Corps symbol. Oh no, not Quebec. Wait. Are you talking about the Fleur de Lis? The Fleur de Lis was also the logo of my alma mater, and I totally, that's totally doxing myself just now, but, um. Hey, Winter, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Yes, we're playing Dark Tide. <laughs> How could I not? I'm totally not a Warhammer, especially Imperial Guardsman fanboy, am I right? Scars? Hmm. Give ourselves a, a Leon or Cloud Strife uh, scars right there. Yeah, she totally got this from fighting off the Tyranids, chat. Totally. Warhammer is going to ship. It totally is, though. That's why I'm surprised that this game so far has been fairly close to the lore. 
At least as far as I could tell. I prefer a more subtle scarring, personally, like this. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yes, I can make her fuck I can make her fucking tiny. <laughs> All right, personality. Ooh, your life choices have molded you to the person you are today. There are happiness in your life, sure, but you're left with plenty of scars. The agitator. I like this too. This actually changes her voice lines in the game. Warhammer 40K is doing well. Okay, I don't like this one because they're super air. Oh, it actually changes the if. Oh, that's cool. What about the fanatic? Without faith is mere existence beneath the all-consuming shadow of heresy. Without so much as a candle to hold that darkness at bay. It is the fate of some to pass from this life as mere kindling, whereas mine is to light the flame. And I see that I am needed in this place at this hour. For is it not said that if ten thousand feckless souls burn in the flames of perdition to awaken the fervor of one righteous man, then the Emperor rejoices? Aye, it is. It is a fucking Scottish accent! Holy shit, I am so horny right now! Without faith is me <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I love this game already! When she fucking started talking, I was like, oh my fucking god, this accent, I want to make love to this accent, I want her to hold me down, pin the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh, this is less like Jody, and this is more like Shay. <laughs> this is where your life journey has led, you are a prisoner of the Imperium, convicted of a crime, you may have uh, am I misplaced Faye, uh, dereliction of duty, insubordination? ordination. Oh, sedition is this is sedition is uh, talking shit to people. Um, misplaced fate is questioning the fate of uh, people. Insubordination is insubordination. Dereliction of duty is means you're a fucking uh, deserter. I'm an asshole. I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in prison because of insubordination, chat. Ah, uh, you were born on Cadia, the promising scion of an imperial soldier officer slain in battle. You were raised in the Scola Progenium, where you learned to be an uncompromising soldier of the Imperium. You were badly injured in a machine malfunction and it took years to recover. One day, the voice of the Emperor spoke in your mind and told you to dedicate your life to his service. It wasn't that you didn't get out of the way for the passing ma magistrate, it was that you didn't get out of the way quickly enough. That alone was enough to earn a one-way trip to the prison ship the Tancred Bastion. You're aboard the Tancred Bastion and wrote to Otoma Prime. Why yes, I totally did name her after one of the tomboys in one of my science fiction novels. How did you know? Well... Flanagan's the full name. Flan's a shortened version of Flanagan. I'll just name her Shay. Oh yeah! It's the moment we all be waiting for, chap. It's time for the prologue! <laughs> the the wine's going to your brain. I'm going to my brain. There can be no atonement for treachery. Abhor the Xenos. War is the only diplomacy. Your weapon is your only salvation. Facts are chains that bind perception and fetter truth. 
A dagger in the dark is worth a thousand so swords at dawn. The thy purpose is death. Prisoners all secure, ma'am. I'll check for myself if you don't mind. Of course, ma'am. But do be wary. Every one of them's a filthy heretic. Me what? Heretic me? That one certainly is. Keep him intact. No accidents. My master wants to interrogate him as soon as we reach the hive. Of course, ma'am. On my life. I used the word Imperium in an English essay once. I failed the entire assignment because of that one word. It was a fantasy story. What? Why did they fail you? That's fucking stupid. Makes you wonder why we even bother shipping trash like that. Hmm. Save a lot of data slate work just to process the execution. I'm sorry that it happened to you. What do you say, criminal? Shall I put you out of your misery? And ours, if you would. Be quiet. Well, nothing to say? This is a mistake. I am a loyal servant of the throne. <laughs> but of course, of the throne? I'll just let you out now, then. <clears throat> Shame you'll never get to prove that. Not a real word? That's weird. Imperium is a real word. I wonder what was up there, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not trapped in here with them. They are trapped in here with me. Well, this boat's ill. God, Emperor, guide, guide my death. steps. What indeed? Avast! What fiend be this? You know what? So far, this is running fairly well, all things considered. Oh, I don't need to click anything just to climb the ladders? Cool. A black day for the Tancred Bastion, but perhaps not for me. Is there a gun somewhere I can grab? Maybe? This looks pretty neat actually. Yeah, it does. It's very good so far, as far as I've seen. It's fairly- it's running fairly well too, all things considered. Let's see, except a sc Hold shift. Uh, okay, cool. Yup, he's dead. These are...
Oh. Now this guy was a little bit harder to kill. Yeah, because your model isn't eating 29 threads at 47 gigs of RAM, bruv. Slash flex. <laughs> Oh, shit. The fate of all traitors. <laughs> Where are my cocking reinforcements? Security stations are overrun. I'll show you a cock. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a tech priest, and he's dead. Damn it, my brother is. Someone's killing my brother and. No! That poor tech priest. Ow, fuck! Let's see. What else we got around here? Can I please have a gun? Come on, game. I know this. W I know the original game was more melee combat than it was range combat, but still. Uh, did someone say cock? Ayo. You would know about cock, wouldn't you? Steel. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. <laughs> okay, now. Where are we going now, Chad? Uh, let's see. Everything here is on fucking fire. But there's nothing there. Oh! Oh, well, that is just lovely. We are getting the fuck out, chat. Yeah, um... Ow. Shit, really? Okay, fine, that's it. The Emperor guide my path! Ah! Wow, that was actually fairly easy, what the hell? Well, she's dead. Maybe? That did not sound like a good sound, chap. That did not sound like a good sound at all. I guess we're about to find out. Your diet's like 99% cock? Allow me to feed you then. Great. You come for blood too, criminal. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one that's in. You said you were a loyal servant of the throne. I did. Then prove it. Gladly. Is this a bolter rifle? Oh, this is an auto rifle. Never mind. I thought they were gonna start me with a last pistol or something. But no, I get I get to start with a fucking with an auto rifle. That's not that bad. Oh, what the fuck? Storm Raptor, urgent extraction requested. The traitors have overrun the ship. Storm Raptor inbound. Hey RFC, thank you so much for the bits. And yes, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. It's been a it's been a hell of a week. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm turning I'm 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 becoming a wave. I'm becoming I'm becoming uh 
kind of bouncy. I feel I feel funny inside. <laughs> uh, what direction are we supposed to be going? Okay, this way. <laughs> all right then. All right, all right. We're playing Dark Tide tonight, Ripsty. I'm getting my Warhammer on. Feels good, man. Get to the hangar bay. Get to the hangar. Lols has an interesting property, but when you're looking at him, he's sawed. But when you look away, he's a bit wave-like prop. Oh, shit. It appears that I've been tramp... Rifsty, how did you have that many points? Oh my god. It's a good thing this is a mature aid stream. <laughs> no, shit. It's been a while since anyone's redeemed this uh, skin. Hatred never tires. I'm simping. <laughs> yes, you are, Rivsty. Yes, you are. I will allow it. What is a VTuber without any simps? Am I right? Sixty-nine, you baby. You only need to ask, Steel. You only need to ask. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. I have so many points because I love your stream so much. You make my day every time I'm in here, so I stay in here as much as possible. Aw, thank you, Ripsty. I'm glad I can make your day too. <laughs> right. Urge the heretics! For the Emperor! And all I... My solo, you better hurry the fuck up. Because you're running around out of ammunition fairly soon. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Hey Tank Bear Claw, I'm actually playing a Zealot, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm just saying I have no idea what's going on in game. I'm too busy looking at you. <laughs> well, Sorry. You <laughs> you me. Tank Bear Claw, how are you doing tonight? No promises. Probably wind up dead. I was dead anyway. <laughs> Very poetic. Just don't tell anyone. I let an escaped prisoner save my life. And you'll be more than dead. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. as well? Very good. Tank, do you want to play tonight? I mean, I know this game is a multi it's a co-op game. I'm more un I'm more than open to playing with people.
schedule a time. I'm almost ready for bed. Oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, let's see if we can find some time this weekend. Welcome to the Morning Star. <laughs> Indeed, it is Thanksgiving today. Gotta set up the redeems for a new bottle? I do. Sound with a thousand zippers unzipping. I'm op more than open to playing with people. Not just people, Femboy, but multiple people. <laughs> what the fuck is this walk animation? Well, at least it's not girly. What is this run? <laughs> Come on! Look at this run animation! <laughs> Can you possibly be more exaggerated? <laughs> You're thinking about dyeing your hair pink? Oh, that, that looks- that sounds that would be cute. Joke's on you, you're a VTuber with no pants. Imagine wearing pants. I mean, listen to Gargura. She's the one that was running the no- the no- the ban pants movement, right? Dude, the visual design of this game is great! Look at this shit! Uh, just look at the detail! Look at this! I fucking- we're running this on high? Damn, and the frame, the uh, frame rate's really good too. Welcome home, Momo. Do you want to play? Yes, I want to play. Do you want to play? I just got done with the tutorial. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, going through the cutscenes right now. Um, no, uh, rips the, uh, um, a VTuber does not reveal her tricks. <laughs> you want to play harder than me than, than I ever know? Well, I'm going to pop in the Discord voice chat. And by the way, everyone, if you're in Discord, feel free to pop in the voice chat. We have an open mic night. Today's the start of my fucking vacation of my uh, four day weekend. So I'm oh, it's, I'm open to just uh, kind of. Hey, buddy. How's hey, it going? Hey, Momo. I'm doing fucking great. How are you tonight? <laughs> fucking awful. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear that you're doing awful. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, work. Uh, late night. Come home. Work sucks. I know. Okay. Okay, that's I'm great to know. <laughs> but you're finally here. That's the important thing. You're popping open a beer. It sounds like. Hard cider. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Let me just get your reactive image or your Fuji your Fuji tech image in here really quick, and then we'll get going. Uh, you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, uh, fuck, how do I do this again? Oh, right. I need to remember how to do stuff again. I need to push this button. Uh, I'm looking. Oh, you don't need to do, you don't, you don't need to do anything, don't worry. Um, I just need to log into a website really quick. Why are your hands fucked up, Momo? Because it doesn't matter if I'm wearing gloves or not. My hands are going to get very, very wet and then very, very dry. Cute. It's like a, it's like a dog's paw pad. Hot. No, pain. Oh, I'm sorry, pain. <laughs> like, my, uh, my right ring finger has cracked open. Why? How? Right at the tip. Is it free? Dry. Oh, do you work outside or something? Is it freezing yes. over there? Oh. I, whew, I am now, as of 34 minutes ago, an ex-cart clerk. Oh, I'm sorry. I am now a deli bitch. Oh, a deli bitch. I make 18.65 an hour. Based and red pilled. Based or based. And dog -pilled. Based and dog pilled. So that sounds like that sounds to me like a uh, step up. A yeah, very large. I'm not gonna have to deal with dodging around Ford F-150s and dealing with piss-soaked vagrants trying to get their 1440 in the goddamn bottle room. Ew. I'm glad that things are looking up for you. <laughs> uh, Tank Bear Claw says the meat handler. You handle the meats. Oh, I. Well, uh, that's more of meat department's thing. But 
Yeah, we we, we we do we do a little we do a little uh meat cutting. We do a little <laughs> we, cheese we do, handling. We do a little handling of the meats. Deli sounds fun. You get to try the fancy cheese and such now, according to Aislin. <laughs> uh probably not at the start, no. <laughs> I don't get free food, but our prices are low enough so that it doesn't really matter. I work at a place that has like Fucking ridiculously low prices. <laughs> ah, so the next step before I'm not going to say where. Uh, if you know the Pacific Malaga. Northwest, you probably know the where. Best we can recruit these days. Yes, please do not dox yourself. <laughs> I live on uh, six nine eight Dirty Woods Drive, apartment six nine four two zero. Sounds great. In uh, I'm Sergeant Major Morrow. Fog Central, Oregon. Mission briefings come through me. The fuck. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Get what, what is uh, the cutscene thing? I just finished the. No, uh, no the, the the person who just joined. Did someone just join? Oh, it's Venboy. Hey, Venboy. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Little pony told me that tonight was open mic night. Welcome to the cum zone. <laughs> cum zone. <laughs> well, fuck, I popped the wrong pill. <laughs> my, my, uh, my co-worker offered me some cannabis oil on the ride home, and I said, no, I, I, I'm doing things with friends tonight, I need, <laughs> you can have cider you're brain, doing but friends? not weed You're doing brain. things with friends, and you didn't take the, the good stuff? <laughs> no, because if, if I take the good stuff, uh, I'm, I can't fucking play video games. Fuck the video game. <laughs> no! We'll some, uh, we'll put on some Jimi Hendrix and we just, you know, we'll go to town. No. We'll, we'll get that prostate a good workout. No, no, you know? god damn it. <laughs> Fuck, I want to play this game with friends. Ah. I'll play your, I'll play your fucking, I, I can't. I, I'm drinking my Wayne too fast like again. Instrument. I will strum you like a harp. Uh, did VR... Did fucking V2 Plus break again? One second, I need to bring V2 Plus back on. This is this is what blows my mind. V2 Plus never breaks. Um, oh, you it's... know why it broke? It broke because you switched models. It no, no 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 no. It breaks every time I add someone's reactive image to OBS for some weird reason. I've I was able to replicate this too. Oh. It's really weird. Oh, I see. I, I see now. You know what it is. Profile You're running display. out of hardware rendering um, streams. Your 3080 only has two, and you probably have the tick box enabled but, hardware rendering when available, but, enabled in more than two sources inside your OBS, so that when you add new reactive images, you run out of said sources, and your hardware encoder just goes. Is it? It's okay. Okay. It's probably. I, I'm not familiar with your cabal of VTuber friends, but Vemboy, you sound like fucking Remy Down Under. Remy down on that. <laughs> you sound, are, you, are, you, are you Remy's alter ego? <laughs> are they cute? He's handsome. He's, right, a, well, he's, I'll, a, he's a handsome, sure, I'll, I'll, strong I'll be man. Remy then. I'll be, I'll be. Um, I was going to say that I'm actually dual PC streaming still, so it's not my 3080. It's probably the SLI 1080s I have that are crapping out. Oh my god, SLI in this day and age? What the fuck? Yeah, that's right. I'm old-fashioned like that. What the time. fuck? <laughs> My stream. Uh, 1070 Ti's. There, I and I'm back. Some of the greatest, uh, some of the greatest uh, PC work I've ever done. Oh yeah, well I SLI'd your dad last night. Hey yo, hey yo, Pixar didn't happen. Cotton 4K. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I am uh, my reactive, by the way. Mm-hmm. Is behind your recent follower text. Oh yeah, I was doing that on purpose, but it's, in retrospect, that was probably a bad like, idea. I, I love the aesthetic. I, I love it. No, I'm not trying to be special to be like in front of it. I'm just saying it's uh, it's got my juices flowing. Mm -hmm. My I'll heart rate, my heart rate is elevated by seven points. Just saying that. Oh, that's good to hear. I also found what the issue was. It's not so much adding the web browser sources; it's moving the sources off, around behind the. Uh, Behind the uh, follow the the followers recent subscriber bullshit, I don't know why it's doing that, but Have well, you whatever. The same firmware on both of your 3080s. 
1080, excuse me, 1080. Uh, I, heads up, I have no I, idea. I don't no, know that's... why, but my internet at night has been spotty. So oh. if I drop out, uh, give me like 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes? My, my, my internet dropped out for 4 minutes last month. I didn't pay my bill for the month. Maybe you should uh, pay your bills. No, I called up my ISP and I'm like, bro, this is a high priority connection. Like, I'm paying 300 bucks a month for this shit. You're refunding it. Good on you. Because you, you disconnected me in the middle of a very important conference call. <coughs> they were like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So we'll, of course we'll refund you for the month. I'm like, good. Oh, Hicks, what fucking class did you pick? Oh, sell it. Ah. Uh, them, what's your class? I am a glitchy application. What? Uh, team Houston, we have a problem here. Why? Oh, Avery. Well, I guess it's like the meme goes. Avery VTuber uh, stream has to be scuffed at some point. Oh, 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 oh! My my class. Sorry, sorry. My class is. Uh, I'm a windwalker monk. In dark tide, sweetheart. Please. <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna buy me the game? I was told it's an open mic night. I wasn't told anything about oh. Warhammer 40k. Oh. Warhammer 40k? Was... Uh... Alright, alright. Boys and girls, get ready to cancel Vanboy forever. Warhammer 40k is dog shit. It's complete and utter fucking dog shit. Warhammer fantasy is where it's at. Fight me, cancel me. Or change my mind. That is certainly a take. It's certainly not the worst take I've heard, but given how Games Workshop has run both of their franchises into the ground, it's not one that most people would disagree with at these days. <coughs> However, I used to love Fantasy Warhammer. I used to love them it. boy, I, I have a I have a retort to your okay. to your take. <clears throat> of course I shall listen. Your mother. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you you drive a very valid point there. You know what? Exactly. We're just going to have to agree to a disagree, and I guess I'll just download the game now. Uh, so where do I find it? Steam? Uh, it's currently on Steam, but it is the it's, it's, it's cheapest. Bucks. It's forty bucks. So if you like, one of us can probably just grab it for you. But um, right now I'm actually trying to figure out why uh, VTuber Plus is no longer functioning and. I want to delete. Find VTuber Plus in your task. Close the fucking thing. Start again. That's actually a good idea. One second. It's, it's probably choked up. Probably Some, is. It's probably choked up because of the model you pulled up that has 27 freaking colliders on it. Which one was that? Unity. The, the naked one. <laughs> Wait. Naked? Did I give you a copy of that? I think I forgot to give you a copy of that, did I? I don't know, I probably have a copy of it. The point is, if it's anything like all the others, it's probably fudged. Probably. I mean, I know the, uh... I... Have you seen the size of the model that you're... The new one that you're using? It's like 3 megabytes. Exactly! The old one was like 25. Yeah, it was, uh... Wait, what the fuck? Really? Yeah. That's how much we have crushed it. We optimized the absolute donkey balls out of it. Not to mention that it's running a VSF... Uh, file format now instead of VRM, which means that all of your dependencies are directly packaged into it. Wow. And they are now pulling from the program that is rendering it rather than having to like compile on action every time. <coughs> I see. So basically, every dependency that is contained within the program that's rendering it, which is in your case, VTuber Plus. Uh, it doesn't have to be packaged into the model itself, whereas in VRM format, it packages everything into it. I see. So, we're no longer loading the same CRUD into the memory twice. Huh. Plus, so we, like I said, we don't have 17 chest uh, colliders for whatever the hell reason. Oh. When you have shoulder length hair that doesn't even reach anywhere near your chest, but you have 17 chest colliders. Fantastic. That's when you put it that way, that's actually kind of fucked up. Also, yeah. I don't know if you know, Hicks, 
But uh, enjoy this shit while you can, because I'm pretty sure everyone's progress is going to get reset when this game comes out of early access. That's what I heard, too. I mean, that's fine with me. That just means I'll have to get to play the game twice. Uh, once I figure out what is... Oh, okay. Finally. Jesus, that took way longer than it should have. But the important thing is, it's been unfucked. For a time being. You know, All right. I actually have an official, and I mean an official tool. This is a paid tool that is almost $80. A licensed official tool for Blender that is called the Unfuck tool. The Unfuck tool? It is called the Unfuck tool. It Does it? Unfucks fucked meshes. <laughs> That's brilliant. And it sounds funny, but it's it, it's like extremely popular add-on. It's the unfuckle. The unfuckle. <laughs> <laughs> unfuckle my knuckles. When you apply certain modifiers, it 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 fucks everything. There's no there's no there's not even a better technical word for describing it. It just destroys everything. So the unfuck tool was born. <laughs> And it's one of the only tools that you can say in a professional environment with a straight face, like around executives. You can just be like, yeah, I unfucked it. You unfucked it with the unfuck tool. Yes, and nobody's gonna even bat an eyelid. <laughs> That's too funny. I got a cat on my left. Uh, Momo, what do I need to do to get to the actual multiplayer chunk of the game? Do I have to go through fucking basic training even though I just did a tutorial? Wait, uh, fucking, hold on a second. Do I, do I have you on Steam? You should, but I'm currently uh, offline, so I'll need to go online really quick. Yeah, go online and I think I can send you an invite. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, everyone's playing Warhammers right now. Alright, send me an yeah, invite. Dark Tide is really, really good. Sure seems like it. Uh, $60! Gunboy, would you like a copy of the game? I, I could spot you. No big deal. The, the fucking... The OST is made by uh, Jesper Kid, and it goes so fucking hard. How hard are we talking? This is a... What the fuck? Who the hell is Shea? That's me. Okay. Um, like, this is a rival in and of itself to the Mechanicus OST. <laughs> Speaking of, Mechanicus was the other game I bought, along with the, uh, along with this, uh, indie survival horror cyberpunk game called Signalus, which I hope to stream in the near future. Mechanicus is my favorite XCOM. Is it really? Yes. I saw a I review. Never really get into XCOM that much, but Mechanicus is really good. Not only that, well, I also have like a really, really soft spot for Mechanicus. Tech priests are very gender for me. I too am a great lover of tech priests. I kind of partially roleplay as one on Twitch and Twitter. Um, a a a uh, copyright a uh, what's what's the word? A um significantly uh sig a um. A non trademark infringing version, of course. I Games Workshop. <clears throat> fucking adore the Adeptus Mechanicus. Praise the Omnissiah. And I, I, I fully well understand that Warhammer 40k is fucking stupid as hell, but it's just it's it's my it's my thing. It's kind of my thing too, but shit. I mean I. I'm it's never. Like, you know how people can like obsess over the room because of how stupid it is. Mm -hmm. I kind of do the same, but for 40k. I mean, right. 40k from the beginning was supposed to be over the top on purpose, like by design. It's just only recently that some people have been taking it a little too seriously. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Maybe just a bit? No, no. People, people who take this shit so like uber seriously are a bunch of fucking. Uh, no life nerds who have never gotten any pussy in their entire life. Imagine getting pussy chat and not pussy. Okay, hold on. Smells like tuna. I don't like uh, it. 
yeah, well, how about you eat my shit and hair? What? 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, Excuse I'm... me, what? That escalated uh, in a very wrong direction very quickly. Uh, okay, so you're gonna wanna... Let me actually check your stream. Um, I'm just chilling in the, uh, strike team menu. Okay, exit the strike team menu. Yeah, okay. I, I, I had to interrupt. Excuse me for yes, a sir? minute if I may take the stage. Sure. Uh, I am on the Steam page. Yes. For Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. Yes. Do. And it says that the release date is the 1st of December 2022. I know, and right? I understand. I am a day and a half in the future ahead of the common folk. But what the fuck? I know, right? <laughs> it's so far into I, I, the future I, I, that it even blows my mind. I think I think it's referring to the full release. Hold on, you said December twenty first, twenty twenty two, right? Well, yes, and that's okay. like a week away. Yeah, it's a week away. I've never heard of uh, any place on this uh, wonderfully round Earth of ours to be an entire fucking week ahead of me. <laughs> Yeah, it just comes out in a week. This is like an you're early, gonna early gonna access, basically. You're gonna want to exit out of that. Like, you get back into the game. Okay, I'm in the game now. I'm just uh chilling for the moment. For a moment. I'm waiting for your stream to update. Yeah. Wait a minute. No, I can just fucking. I mean, why do you need to wait for the stream? We're pretty much in the. I, we're in I, a party I, right now. I, I had a okay. I had a smooth brain moment. Go <laughs> over to the big green map. And hit E on mission terminal. Oh yeah, I heard it's like deep cock galactic. Yeah, it's a it's a four it's a uh it's a four player co op horde survival game. Exactly. Honestly, I like this soundtrack more than Deep Rock, but don't say that like in public. Why not? In public venue, just just don't. I don't want to be crucified. All right, so I'm at. Not so bad. Crucifixion's pretty fucked up. I don't like it. I'm over. Oh, I'm over here at the green section. All right. Uh, then you just uh, hit mission terminal and hit quick play. Uh, what's the mission terminal? What? There's. It's, the big, it's it's okay. So you're in the room with the big green holographic map, right? Yep. You're gonna go, go over to to one of the terminal to one of the little monitor things, and it should say E view mission terminal. It's, it doesn't seem to be giving the option. It's still showing that I need to go to Psychanium for whatever reason. Okay, then you need to go. I guess. Do that. All right, let me go through do those really quick. And meanwhile, it sounds like Vimboy's gonna be joining us in a little bit or whenever they're installed the game. So we'll go ahead and run our way okay. through the tutorial mode in the meanwhile. No big, no, no big deal. The fucking thing is sixty fucking dollars. I don't even know what. I do not believe thing Vimboy is. will be joining us. No, 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 I, 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 I require some level of explanation, like how it works. Uh, bucks. I'm oh. assuming it's because it's Games Workshop. It, it's Games Workshop. They overcharge, over, overpriced the fuck out of all of their stuff. Yeah, say, say no lesson anymore. <laughs> I used to use Games Workshop paints and brushes, and their brushes used to be like $28 each. Jesus! $28 for a brush? You fucking bleed yourself dry if you go with just fucking straight from Games Workshop. God, motherfucking Bro, damn. 90... In about 96, 98, we actually used to, at one point, start making our own brushes. No you shit. Know what we used to use? We used to use our own eyelashes for them. For what? Yes. I kid you not. The Psychanium is just the place. Because you only need it uh, between one and three, depending on what type of brush you're making. Oh, god damn, I set my DL up. DL SS to ultra performance. And... How bad is it look? Uh... It just looks kind of crunchy. Okay, I set it back to the performance and it's an acceptable level now. It looks crunchy. Yeah, it looked like I was fucking Some watching it through a fucking 480p fucking attack. video stream. Others have a special but that's DLSS for you, baby. Rip and tear. Rip and tear? Rip and tear until it is done.
You know, I've never actually played a 40k game before. Uh, they can be a mix battle. Like, Mechanicus, really good. Dark Tide, pretty good so far. But then there are just like some really stinky looking games. I think I've seen somebody play like one of the like top down RTS style ones, maybe in like, I don't know, 2001. Uh, you are probably thinking of Dawn of War. Yeah, no, I've the one before the one. There was one before Dawn of War? I'm just. Hmm. I don't know, my favorite Warhammer game of all time is Dark Omen. Hands down. Incomparable. Better than me. My favorite Warhammer 40k game is uh, I Divine no, no, Cybermancy. <laughs> War, War, Warhammer, not 40k. Hold on. Okay. I, um, I, my, my, my range for normal Warhammer games is very limited. I've seen the Mandalore game videos on Dominant Warhammer, and I've played Blood Bowl 2. Blood Bowl 2 is fun, but I don't have the beans for it. Allows you to evade range Shadow fire of the Horn Rat is kind of Zabba. Oh wait, Vermintide 2! I fucking love Vermintide 2! Indeed. I haven't played much of it, but it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. He doesn't control the single character, it doesn't make sense. Oh, you stupid motherfucker. Warhammer can be in any sort of game setting. I see. Hey yo, kelp giving us the kelp giving us the Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Although there was that other one. Additionally, the one that had like the uh, the priest in this game. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness it regeneration. Game, it, was, it wasn't the whole game. Although they, I think they distinguish it by calling it uh, the Age of Sigma or something. Oh like well, that. Age of Sigma is just a thing for Warhammer. Because yeah, they 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 axed Warhammer now and now it's called Edge of Sigma. Right? The end of hmm? No, they still have Warhammer. You are now ready to serve. Should you wish I to think Age of Age of Memes. Well, hey, Star Werewolf, also, long time to see. There was also the off branch of the Lord of the Rings that they did at one point. The what? Games Workshop did a Lord of the Rings branch of of Warhammer. I did not know that. Yeah, they did tabletop Lord of the Rings, but it's by Games Workshop. They were the ones that, that snagged the license for it, which again absolutely makes sense. And it was it was loved. So many people loved it. It was it was apparently really good. <laughs> I am a level twenty preacher. Right. Can, can I can I play a fanatic? I uh, yeah. Myself in the back on my own knees, screaming to the skies in order to empower myself with my own pain to then two-shot everybody in my path. That's basically Zealot, isn't it? Oh. What I'm playing? Eh, I don't yeah. know. I play I just want to be like, FANATICISM! I mean, the I Zealot... Psychonetic. Mm -hmm. Zealots are basically the priests in this game, so more or less. Uh, Star Werewolf, I am too. I'm serving with a Flamer and a Viscerator. I'm a level 20 preacher. Very nice. <laughs> Lols, can you sell this game to me? Um, basically you get to do your, uh, you basically get to, I'm treating it as a Caiaphas Kane power fantasy, personally. This is a game that's like Deep Rock Galactic, but set in 40k. I, I bought, I got it. You can't because be sold on 40k, so uh, then don't buy this game. I mean. It's, it's Minecraft in a spaceship. It's like Left no, 4 it's Dead a... 40k. There we go. It's hey, yo, Left 4 Dead? It's pretty much a Left 4 Dead 40k, yeah. But I like to think of it as a... I mean, I personally think of this game as Imperial Guardsman Simulator, personally. If it's Left 4 Dead, can I be kind of like one of my little ponies and run around murdering everybody? Cause that's what we used to mod, uh, Left 4 Dead to do. Everyone was dressed up as a My Little Pony. Uh, no, this doesn't have workshop support yet. Bruh. But it's in the name, it says Games Workshop, what the fuck? Oh, boy, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to fight you. 
matter the darkness, huh? what's that? No matter the racking storms huh? of space. Huh? What's that? You have to speak up. I got bad hearing. But a threat has Please come. do. The if you're a ghost, you're supposed to have excellent hearing. Instrument. Who am my I? smell is superb. My hearing yeah. sucks mega cock. I have learned that you get I know, but I have hearing damage. You stinky pants. Oh, you help? Yeah. I got you. I'm going to extract your essence. Extract my. With your with your sex tool. Yeah, with my amazing sex now. Oh, oh, you're in who am I? <laughs> Yes, I am. I don't know, man. I would love to have my essence purged. I am a warrior. I am the meme lord. The emperor protects. Alls, lulz. What's your favorite chaos god out of the four? Uh, either corn or um the sex one. Okay, okay. I'm about to fucking give you the fattest 40k pill of your life. Because Slanesh isn't just about sex. Really? Slanesh is not about sex? Slanesh isn't just about sex. It's what about else are they about? Satisfaction. satisfaction. It's about pleasure and satisfaction. Like, okay, yeah. It's about you can, sex. No, it, it's like, so okay, yeah, you can... You can you can have like the super turbo ultra sex, or like <laughs> super like, super turbo ultra sex. Oh my god! Can I please fucking finish? Yes, you may. It's not just about sex; it is about satisfaction and pleasure. Because yes, you, it could just be like, "Ooh, I want to get my rocks off in a heretical way," but it could also be like, "I am a painter, and I just need that. If I could just get this right shade of red for my painting, I would be so happy." You know what? I have a shade great shade of red. I need comes from orphan blood. That <laughs> is Slaneshian influence. It sounds like I know a great place where they can get red blood, probably some of which is from orphans. It's called the universe. It's called blood for the blood god. <laughs> you okay, I'm Blood for the blood god. So the class you play actually has a voice line that's very very similar to that. Wait, what the fuck? That's heretical. How can she have a voice line similar to that? Spells for the Golden Throne. I cannot you'll disagree. When, well, well, you'll probably hear it when we go on a mission. <laughs> Speaking of missions, um, I'm now in the position where I can actually like play and shit. So. Okay, so go over to the big green map. I, I'm, I'm touching. I'm, I'm caressing the big greenness. You on the menu? Yes. Hit quick play. I see or a play button, but oh, it's a quick play. Okay. Or if you see, um... Actually, never mind. Just quick play. It's not letting me push the quick play button. Uh, oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Okay. It takes a minute. This... Okay, I mean, I, I, at the end it's of the day, no let, let, let's be honest. I think Nurgle is one of the best Chaos Gods. Uh, oh, yeah. He makes oh, burgers. dude, you fight nothing but Nurgle acolytes in this game. I yeah, know. I was going to say. The best burgers. Nurgle it. is the best. <laughs> Nurgle makes best burgers. Because it's like... Oh yeah, my body is like super corrupted with like turbo aids, but like I feel great. <laughs> I feel awesome. Sar Werewolf says Siege is uh, best, Zitch or is, however you pronounce uh, that. I was to actually pick my favorite uh, chaos god, other than Corn, of course, because he like overrules everybody. Oh, Would be yes. Siege. Siege is uh, Siege is sick. But I also like the old Slan, so Zeech and Slan kind of go hand in hand. Because I was Isn't a Zeech the one that's guy. all like, "Ooh, I am so mysterious that I have all these riddles." Zeech is the one that got his ass handed to him in the game of in the children's card game. In that one, you in that uh. Zeech is the sorcerer that uh, shapes time and space and basically everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fucking video game is started. You guys can still talk even if the video game is started, you know. I have two brain cells, and I need, and, and one is for one hand, the other is for the other. Where is your other hand? Well, I have four brain cells, have but I've already gifted two hands. Oh, I can't believe I have leveled up to two brain cells. Excellent. So 
with my three brain cells, you've re leveled up two. Two. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Just so connected from server. What? Mm. Uh. Yep, that's uh, open beta for you, I suppose. The hand of. Are you still? In, are you still in the game? Yeah, it's, uh, it's. I'm still in the game, and I still see your model. I will reconnect. I wait. Reconnect. Yeah, your your model is gone now. Oh wait, there's two bots in here with me, so you should be able to reconnect just fine. Yeah, I, I know. This ain't my first rodeo. Well, it's my 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 rodeo. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck some shit right now. Uh, Star Wolf, Werewolf says the hand of fate. I think it's called the one head knows the past, one knows the future. Also, it's a bird. I don't know what he's saying, but I will take their word for it. So, uh, open beta, huh? Are you, uh, describing yourself? I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me lower the volume of the game so I can actually hear what y'all are saying. Options. Uh, what else is new? There we go. Now I can actually hear what everyone's saying. I'm morbing out. You're going to morb? Oh, fuck, I am morbing! Uh, Whoa, keep it in your pants. We barely starred and you already gasmed. It's explosive. <laughs> okay. Is it corrosive? Uh, no, yes. No, 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 we have a new word in the VTuber community for this. It's called micro-arriving. It's called what? Micro-arriving. Oh, micro-arriving. <laughs> morbing is heresy. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> what a bit. Two dollars. No, two dollars in Her Majesty's realm is enough to purchase a piece of land. Her Majesty? Who? The common one. Oh, that's not what? she died. He's, he's, uh, sorry, he's Majesty. He's Majesty. Excuse me. Sorry, she, she died. Oh, yeah. Uh, Queen Elizabeth is no longer with us, unfortunately. Wait, the Queen died? Oh, no. I can't tell if Momo is shitting us right now or not. I've been making that joke for 25 years, so fuck. God damn it. Wait, which one? Her Majesty. The Queen or the Neo Queen? Neo Queen. Neo Ultra Queen. The point is, you can buy a piece of land for two dollars in the Commonwealth. You can? I don't even know what a Commonwealth is. coins of the realm is enough to purchase any piece of land. Isn't the Commonwealth? Sorry, go on. Wait, like Fallout. You are at a no reserve auction. You may purchase any piece of land for two gold coins of the realm. Which is two dollars. Okay, I spawned in and the game is frozen. Uh Nope, it's yeah, it's it's yeah, it says you're in. You're in. Kill the odd one, but we're all odd here. How can you just kill just one? I'm burning alive right now, chat. What else is new, you may ask? I don't, I don't think I can join your party in this game, I'm sorry. Oh, why, why not? I, I think if I join, the, the party will immediately become overwhelmingly gay. And I think at that point, you just... I mean, it's it's already 75% gay, why not make it 100%? That's what I mean, like, we're, 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 we're gonna tip the scale in the wrong direction. Like, there'll be heretics there. Uh, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be labeled as heretics, excuse me. <laughs> your charge is good getaway tool as it gives you back half your armor okay thanks for the tip my my i think my ping might be in the triple digits why what how <laughs> my ping Wait. In the triple digits with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's good now <laughs> i think This ogre over here is insists on getting all the kills, so I'm not even. I'm just. I'm kind of like half there and half everywhere. Wait, I'm gonna blow his brain up. Yes. Did you blow his brain up, or did he blow up yes. his brain first? I blew his brain up because I'm a psyker. I'm psyker psychonetic. Can you blow me as well? No. Oh. Never knock the pilot. Sorry, right, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, Vemboy, did you add me? Have you added me on Steam yet? We have? Bro, this oak. I wanna. This. Alright, it's time. It's time for the Lazgun. Check your last YouTube video. Oh. 
I'm fucking dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh shit! What? What? What's going on? What's? Oh shit! Oh, he's dead. Can I teabag his corpse? Am I gonna get canceled for tea cabbing? Holy shit! You are. Te you are. You are fucking. Woo! <laughs> oh, is that a tyrannid? What the fuck is that? Hearing it, dog. What's the difference? You want to fucking say that again? <laughs> Tearing it, dog. What's the difference? That's a one nasty ass dog. Hey, cow. How are you doing tonight? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, as far as performance goes, this is actually not doing so bad so far, all things considered. Oh, look at you with the fancy PC. It's definitely a lot more optimized than Vermintide, or at least it feels like it. Vermintide what the fuck? So much than this game <laughs> oh man, I am just laying waste to the Scarlet Moon Empire, aren't I? Uh, do you like the game? I like the game so far, Cal. Thanks for asking. Lulz, Kitty, Kitty has stands. Very true. Make sure you are slashing multiple times for a single target because not everything is a one-shot kill. I'm just, I'm just fucking spamming, man. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Why is everything green? Are uh, you guys okay? Oh, God damn it. Hey, help, uh, please. Yeah, I'm I'm attempting to help. I'm g providing covering fire. Um Did someone just die? Yes. Oh, we we lost a new person. Yeah, don't worry. We they, they will respawn in a bit. Oh. But yeah, Cal, I'm enjoying the game so far. I've only played it for about uh, an hour and a half, but it seems enjoyable so far. Oh shit! This multivalent guy is actually trying is actually waiting for us to catch up, which is interesting. From reading the Steam forums, it feels like everyone's just going after themselves. He's like, where the fuck is our the rest of our? There they are. Can be rescued, okay, it says for Hark. The, How do we rescue? About, okay, the thing about Ogren players is that they are based. And red pit. Yes, they yes, are they are. Based and big slappy pills. <laughs> he can slap me around. No, no, that is that is his special action. He can just slap. He he just slaps. Yeah. I do believe I do. Just tried to grenade. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm good. I'm alive. For the time being. It's time to heal up, Kindred. Sorry about that. I had to kill one of the bottle room people. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm going for heart. Yeah, okay. Uh, me and the, uh, the Ogren and myself seem to have this area just fine. Maybe? I don't know. Splice into the auto scheduler. Splice into Microsoft Auto into Microsoft Outbook Outbook Out Out, out, out something. Hey, that's heresy, buddy. We don't take kindly to the such th to such commentary. I'm a psyker. If I ever go to Holy Terra, it's going to be as a sacrifice. <laughs> Speaking of brains exploding, who the fuck hit me just now? Joe Mama. She hits me all actually I fucking lost it. <laughs> Data interrogation rate acceptable. It's good, PC struggle a bit. I was lucky to get into the closed beta. I'll get stuck on your screen.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, Jesse's got it. Okay. I'll, I'm, I'm covering you, but I don't know. One second. I, I'm trying, okay? I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Well, who the fuck is killing you? Where is... I can't into shooting. McShoot... Oh, Hark is dying. The Ogryn is saving him. Um, um, I, I got multi. Ah, there you go. Skulls for the Golden Throne. She just yelled it. Yep. Uh, I got, I, I got Hark, I think. Yeah, I got Hark. Okay. Hark is already aided. What the fuck, Hark? Make yourself useful. Holy shit. Okay, I think we survived. Oh, I, I think we I think we're alive. This does not mean I will actually draw, I'm just asking for now. This is just a theoretical question. Or are you fine with 18 plus art? I am perfectly fine with 18 plus art. Uh thanks for asking though. I appreciate that. <laughs> interrogation approaching completion. Who's being interrogated though is the question. Oh, makes sense. Hey, Vim boy, are you okay? You doing good? Vim boy? Oh, I was just asking, are you okay? You've been quiet, a little bit quiet. Oh, okay. I was just making sure, you know. <laughs> uh... I, I think sixty dollars uh, for one or two hours of uh, entertainment it is a bit much, right? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. All right. Well, you're more than welcome to hang out and continue hanging out in voice chat, though. I mean, please don't feel like you don't. Please don't feel that you have to play with us or anything. I appreciate you coming by to chill anyway. Well, it just means that I'm getting the. Slightly lower latency voice chat compared to stream. Like I get, I get to hear you half a second sooner than the rest of the world. Oh. Nice, nice, yeah. <laughs> ah, much better. I've lowered the volume of the game to 15%, so I can actually hear things now. And the game is loud enough that I can understand what's going on regardless of, you know. <laughs> One of those, if huh? anyone finds a Medicaid station, please let me know. Uh, there was one back there, but unfortunately, we are quite far from it now. Yep, I know. <laughs> no! <laughs> Blessed ammo here, garden. I don't know if it's because I'm playing a playing the meathead class or whatever, but I'm surprised I'm still alive up to now. Which is probably going to change fairly soon. Oh, shit. All right, let me pick up uh, Hark. I think, Hark yeah, Hark's got, got you. Yeah. Do, do, do. Is this a, this is a, is this an auto pistol that I'm firing right now? It must be because it's not a last pistol. That's for damn sure. I just remembered I have grenades. You sure love making those brains explode, don't you? It's my whole thing, baby. <laughs> I'm glad there's no friendly fire in this game. Because I'm having a hard time determining oh, who's a good... Uh, who's like a... 100% peril. What's that mean? Bad. Um... So, should we be worried, or...? I, I quelled it, don't worry. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking badass. Are you now? You fucking know it, babe. <laughs> uh, 
I'm lost, chat. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> I guess I'll just follow everyone else. Uh, Multivalent seems to know what he's fucking doing, so let's follow the Ogryn, which is something that's totally canonical to Warhammer. Ogryns are totally smart, and we should follow them everywhere. He's probably a bonehead, though. That's probably the reason. You're talking mad shit about Ogryns to someone in pegging distance. No, I mean, like, boneheads are supposed to be, like, the smart Ogryns, right? The Ogryn commanders or whatever? At least in Dawn of War, they were. Uh. Yeah. Can you imagine getting pegged by an Ogryn, though? Imagine. Imagine. They don't need to peg. They can just use their index finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, I think that might be the objective marker. Oh, wait, no. Wait, you gotta see. I'm out of ammunition. Ow. Oh, I found a medication station! Cool. Oh my god. So where's this medication station? Oh, it's over there. Let me... Cop, a, cop, a, cop some health really quick. Yeah. Wait, where the fuck did you see it? Oh, it's down I, there? I, okay. I, I pinged it for you. Thank you. The aesthetic of the Medicaid station reminds me a lot of Bioshock for some reason. Gee, I wonder why. Gee, I wonder why. It's most of the broken dialogue. Hmm. Oh, piss ants. That does not sound like a good sound, chat. It sounds like a very bad sound, in fact. Uh, what the fuck? That was a very Left 4 Dead scene that just happened. Y'all right there, dude? Are you, you dead? Ah, <laughs> uh, the combat certainly is a visceral, that's for damn sure. You know, I just realized something. Why did they sell- why are they selling premium currency if they're just gonna reset everyone's pro- Or is it just progress, not skins, right? They're not selling the premium currency right now. I'm pretty sure they are because the uh, special imperial pack bullshit thing comes with 2,500. That just gives you the currency, like you know, like once it's actually like the, the game starts. Oh, okay. Hmm. God, this fucking this song playing right now sounds like a breakcore panic attack. <laughs> Holy shit! A beast of Nurgle. Beast, beast. Oh, where, where's the beast? Un we need to unleash the beast. No, we need to kill it. We need to kill it now. All right, I'm on my way to beast. It, uh, what the fuck is that? That's a oh, Nurgle, baby. oh my god! I have seen way too many vor hentai. I know what's gonna happen. We need to run. <laughs> Oh, he's uh, oh he's stuck in the wall. Okay, I'm gonna use my special. Here we go. Yep. Yeah! Oh, I just got through. Holy shit! Wow, and that was quite a fall. That was quite a fall. Ah! I need to be in the back line. All right, I I'm in the front line. I'm oh getting God, covered. Got getting covered in alien. The ogre got bored. How do you bore an ogre? Yes. How the f what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! The o episode of that went well. No! He's taking our ogre with a shirt! Oh god! He's eating- he's eating him! And he's gonna eat us! Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! I, did we save the ogre? Oh my god! That was actually really fun. We gotta do that again. Oh shit, we're being shot! We're having a moment here, you, you cocks! I, sh I brained it. You brained them? Oh, we're getting sniped! Getting stream sniped, no, chat! <laughs> Woo! 100% peril? What the fuck is a paro? Peril. Oh, peril. I, I, I think it might just be like enmity. 
pulling aggro really, really hard. Oh. oh no. Yes. And something just exploded in my face. I got you, bro. I got, or, I got you, sis. I got you. I got you. Bro was gender neutral. Oh, you got a good point there. I got you, bro. What's up, dude? Steel, bro thank you. Steel, thank you so much for the sub. It's our anniversary. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's still November. Which means, technically, um, these subs that you get for November are, in fact, my the anniversary subs. Thank you once again for being my mod and subbing to me for 12 years, 12 months. Oh, you're being punched. Someone's hitting you in the back. Oh, look, ammunition. Don't mind if I do. I'm burning to death. Why is it not letting me... God damn it. Game, give me the ammunition. Is it ammunition or a grenade? You always sub to me. Yes, you damn well right you will. Uh, okay. Oh, there's fall damage in this game. I'm dying. I'll hold you in the Emperor's gaze. How about them? <laughs> I like the banter they got. I love ogre and voice lines. The, um, there is, there, there is one, um, Psyker male voice mm -hmm. that sounds like Dr. Rick Dolphin from fucking, uh, COD Zombies. <laughs> that voice, his voice lines almost made me make a male character. Oh, dog. Dog, dog where? Dog, dog. Oh, God, dog! 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 <laughs> dog on dog action! Dog on dog action! Raw dog and... Caught you simping. Vibe check. Psyker can do a long range vibe check. <laughs> I have a slow. I literally have a pixel of health right now. Now, getting some. I'm getting some uh, real. I'm getting some real strive vibes now. Hark. Where the fuck is Hark? Hark, drop your med. Yeah. No. No. Hey. Oi. Oh, it's a healing powder thing. Cool. Oh wait, you should probably get that Medicaid. Where? Where's the where does where's the med oh there it is. The god emperor blesses us. These are some really polite players. They're actually waiting for us to like get in the get in the get in the uh thing majigger. Oh that's that's such a lovely sound. A big old sippy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Got your brain, bitch. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit loud for the stream. I know you're fine. Oh, this is shit. nothing. Have you seen some VTuber streams? This is this is nothing. This is perfect. No. Oh. This asshole is using a fucking shield. I do not like that one bit chat. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I just got yeeted across the map. Oh, he's about to yeet a hark. A yeet! Oh god, it's the song. I'm covering you. I'm covering you, buddy. As best as I can cover from this distance. Ooh, I'll cover you, then, boy. Oh, it's a... Uh, nothing. Nothing. Boys, I'm getting glazed tonight. <laughs> like a donut. Die, abomination. Uh... I like this guy's outfit. If it wasn't a Chaos Cultist, I would even say that I would like his... There, I say, oh my god, I am being... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Twice in one sitting? I, I still don't understand what this game's about. Like, I, I, um, like half an hour. I still don't know what's going on. Basically, um, or, like, what's going on? We're, we're basically on a hive world, and um, everyone's fucking dying one second. I need to. Oh god. I'm about to die too. Fuck. Everyone's fucking dying one second. I, I, I understand that it's a little bit hectic. It's very hectic, it seems. <laughs> uh, let me. Raise this a little bit, and then I'll just lower it and... Oh, no, that's not going to work. We Fuck it. Owned, baby. Yeah, we got owned hard. Oh, man. Hopefully my bussy recovers in time for the next game. What's with the 
dude that's like triple the size of everybody else. That's an ogrin. Uh, they're basically. Ogrin. Yeah, they're like. Very creative. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, Christian, how are you doing tonight? Activity meter is at ninety nine point nine right now. <laughs> it's. Listen, yeah. Listen, I know, I know, ogrin isn't a creative name. However, uh, he can do big slappy. I'm gonna head patch you, Chris. Just. I think I I I think I, 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 the best of slaps. Let's discuss the quality of slaps. I think the best of slaps are the slaps that connect with ongoing forward force that don't just slap and disconnect, but slap and follow through, kind of like a palm strike, where they make you, as the recipient of the strike, like fly across the room. I think that's a good slap. I think that's how a slap should be executed every time. I think a slap is good if you hit someone and their jaw comes off. An armor-piercing well, slap, no, no, if you no, will. That's the, that, that, for, that requires a follow-through. So if you hit them and you just connect, like, the the point of the sonic boom, and then you disconnect, that's a shit slap. I mean, that, it's a good slap. It's going to leave a mark. It's going to make an amazing sound. But a good slap is one that makes the subject, the receiving subject, fly across the room. I think that's a, that, that, that is how a slap should be performed. <laughs> you know, when you get it, when, when, when you get a butt slap and you end up like flying halfway across the room, I think that's 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 how a slap should be performed. I it's just want to like hit someone so strike. hard that their whole head goes inside out. Dude, Momo. That's implosion. That's a that's a that's that's a different kind of slap. That's a sonic <laughs> boom, a supernova. No, that, that's beyond sonic boom. That's a uh, <laughs> that's an implosion. I just want to fucking dig my teeth into someone's head. Do it, you won't. Which, which, which head? Like, the skull. Like, I want to eat your brain. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Hey, teeth on the other head. No, no, no good. Let's no see. Good. Steel says, skull damn, Vemboy, can, can Vemboy slap me like that for research purposes? Uh, we, we can, we can. Next. Oh, we're doing, an, we're doing an assassin mission now. We were we're doing, doing an assassin, assassin mission people. earlier. Christian says, bolters aren't only armor piercing, the fuckings are APHE. Yes, I want a bolter. The reason I even got this game was because I saw a YouTube clip or YouTube video of someone using the bolter in the game. And Gunscene, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show with your host, Lawler Hicks, actual shitpost AI. How are you doing? Happy Thanksgiving if you're American. Happy Thanksgiving if you're not American. That's some turkey! We're having a nice Thanksgiving stream here, playing some Dark Tide, serving the Emperor, Emperor's will. With my. We got Jesse Cancer, we got Poopers, we got King Taco. <laughs> hey, with my friends, uh, with my friends here, Application Venboy, a Glitch VTuber, and Momo, a Momoka, a uh, Dog Girl. Hi, hi. Hoi, hoi. Welcome to the stream. It is a great, it is a good day to die. There is nothing more feminine in this world than loving, than liking 40k. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's the enemies. Actual trans girl behavior. <laughs> I'm full of good. chaos and stupid. Ayo. All right, all right, fine, you know what? I'm gonna go down and buy a regiment of, I don't know, fucking space marines or some, sh some generic shit tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I have a... I have a... Um... I no, I can't afford it. I have a thing on my is... dresser. Hold up. How much is a regiment of space show. marines? Ooh, 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 like 400 bucks or something? Bitch detected. I don't know. The only, uh, the only tabletop, oh, no, no. uh, oh shit. The only tabletop, uh, miniatures I ever purchased were for battle mech, so. Uh, oh shit. My introduction to Warhammer was from the books and also from Dawn of War. And also Caiaphas Kane, Hero of the Imperium. <laughs> Sorry, I was burning to death. What were we saying about painting? I used to paint back in the day. It was it was really nice. Was oh, cool. cool. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, unfortunately, because I can't see things that up close. Oh. Sigh. I wish that was a joke, but I can't. I can't see things that are that close to my face anymore. 
Oh. This thing is like closer than like maybe 10 centimeters from my nose. Mm -hmm. Or like it will, like three inches. It disappears. Like I really? Can't see it anymore. So <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of growing long sighted as time goes. So uh, Oh. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that this guy's name is Pooper, so it's Pooper saying, Courage, we must press on! I used to paint, as a matter of fact. You, 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 you want a quick cheeky dock? You, you, you already heard this. But... <laughs> I was a featured artist in the Wide Dwarf magazine. Nice. And I was only, I was only eight years old at the time. <laughs> I was the young, oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking... I, 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 I just hard docks myself. God damn it. Walter, let's see. Christian says, also the shovel of the ogre is bigger than the guy's torso, Lamau. Have the psyker head started to talk about the subtitles? Uh, I don't know, Momo. Have you talked about... That's the Rick Toffin voice line. <laughs> he literally argues with the fucking subtitles. Love it. Wait, we're breaking the fourth wall now? Apparently. Oh, yeah. No, no. Breaking the fourth wall is actual psyker moment. Hey, yo. There is nothing more psyker than breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> oh, that's, that's moist. That's my favorite character already. I'm getting some Alcavian vibes. I always love the character that breaks the four, fourth wall. That's Pinkie Pie style. Mm -hmm. That's me. All the way. What is that noise, chat? What the fuck is that? That's a, that's a bomb. Person. A bomb? Uh, bomb, should bomb, we be concerned? Bombs, bombs, oh my god! It sounds like you're about to nut, and yep, that was a nut. That was definitely a nutting. Oh, sh oh shit! So you have to remember, like, it doesn't take much this time of the year. That is very true. Speaking Speaking of no nut November, I'm about to win it. I only have a week left. How do you, bro? In this economy, no, I need that dopamine. I mean, I will admit that I did, uh, I did, I did cheat a little bit. I mean, it says no, it's no nut November. It's not no something that I cannot say because it's against terms of service November. <clears throat> Not November. Nine strokes of November. <laughs> <laughs> Time to sabotage a little. You can try steel. I mean, I've kind of inured myself by fucking downloading gigabytes upon gigabytes of porn from Pixiv. So if I can get through that, um, I'd be I'd be more than happy to see. Okay, I I noticed that the upload limit speed of Pixiv upload servers. To, to get gigabytes worth of it would have taken you like months and months of actively selecting things to download. So oh no, I was, um, I was using a, I was using a Chrome add-on. I wasn't doing it manually. God, can you imagine? Exiv has the most like cockblocky limitations on their upload. Oh, I agree. I mean, basically, I'm able to download an average of around four pages worth before Pixiv is like, no, fuck you, Gaijin. Um, no, so I. Matter of it telling to you to just back off. It's just the actual upload limit. Hmm. The download limit on your end. It's just painful. Yeah, it is. It's like, hey, let's pay for gigabit internet and then download at like 13 megabits. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There's a big motherfucker over there with an LMG. Oh, wait, I think Pooper's got him. Yeah, Pooper's got him. I love the fact that even these. I like the fact that even these names like Poopers would probably be canonical in War in the Warhammer universe. What do you mean no nut? It's not stop nut. You're, you've got it wrong. You got it mixed up. It's 2022. It's not 2019. Uh, that's very true. You're supposed to do non-stop. You're supposed to do like 27, 30, 40 times a day. But Venboy, I'm already non-stop. Well, I mean, that's my general lifestyle, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cinders. Up uh, upstairs? Oh, okay. There is an upstairs. Uh, oh, I should probably go into that. Ah, fuck it. We'll find some ammo later. I got an axe anyway. Medicaid station. Okay. Oh, ammo in this game? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Reminds me of the freaking ammo dice. 
Uh, Christian says, yeah, exactly. It's no nut, no fab. That's February. <laughs> oh, wisdom. <laughs> Have I gotten the dates wrong? I thought February was when we're having like the crazy, the, cra the, the, the crazy party. I thought February was a single February, awareness day. Uh, the 40 on 1 February. I, th I, I thought I'd finally get to go in the middle. Hmm. Oh, man. Oi. 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 I'm once again glad that there's no friendly fire in this game. Can you fucking imagine? My lingo again. Oi. Oi, governor. Oi is just permanently Oi, governor. into my vocabulary. Fucking <laughs> automate. Thank I you, just, Thank you. I just wasted my fucking special. Thank you. Is there no flash? There is no flashlight in this game, right? I'm not tripping. Uh, um, there is a flashlight. Wait, thank you for coming, Christian. Have a good day. If you hold C. Bye, Christian. Uh, the, the top comment on Steam says that disable the flashlight because it makes you lag like mad. Oh, well, I don't it see if... ruined your FPS. Like, that's all I know about the flashlight. Your oh, FPS wait, game. you're right. My gun does have a flashlight. It's just so weak, I didn't even notice it until now. <laughs> okay, oh, no, 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 no. Disable it because you're... it makes you lag. Your, your flashlight is the gigantic circular thing off to the side. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice it was there. Oh, well then... I see it now, but... I see it now. That's what he said about my... I... Ch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, this uh, pooper's McPoop head is a fairly good ogre. Oh shit, that's an explosive. No, no, you're thinking, uh, no, you're thinking of King Taco. King Taco's the ogre. Oh, okay. Who's poopers? Brain explode? No, no, okay. I don't. Imagine exploding. Couldn't be me. What? What? Calm. Yes. No. Really? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. I don't believe you. What the fuck? How dare you shoot me with a ballistic weapon? I will kill you with this knife through your face. Or this axe. Oh hey, a Medicaid station. Oh really? Oh, you're right, yes. there is. Already? So soon? Uh, you should probably medicate. I know. I did. <laughs> so, are assassin missions, do you have to, like, to fight a boss, or is it just you literally assassinate some random mook? No, we have to fight a... We have to fight a boss. That was the mission we failed earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit! I haven't heard the word mook in so long. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have. No, no. Holy shit! Beast. beast, 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 beast. Oh, that's an ugly motherfucker. Woo! That is an ugly motherfucker. I'm out of ammo. Oh no, I'm being consumed! Oh <laughs> shit! Oh god! <laughs> shit! <laughs> I think it did. I think I also need to probably talk a little bit quieter. Why is that? Uh, I just realized it's 1.44 and some people have work tomorrow. It's weaker behind. Shoot it from the back. Uh, I don't have any guns left. I'll just have to hit it with an axe. You don't have any bullets left? No, I'm completely out of bullets. Here, here. Refill, refill over here. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Oh, god damn. Good AI. Oh, good AI, are you praising me? Are you praising me? Explode your brain. Where's the sniper? Where's the sniper? Where's the sniper? Up your ass. Alright, give me a bat. Give me a one sec, I need to look up my ass. I got him, I got him. I got okay, him. good, good, good. Hochi mama, holy fuck! Are we alive? Yeah, Is alive a thing yeah, that we are? Still alive. That's good to know. Against my better judgment, I am still alive. Oh. 
Horde. Horde. Uh, why did you alert the horde? I can hear it coming. Wait. The alliance has Drenai in their heart. <laughs> I'll call your warp. How about them apples? You know my character said that, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I was repeating what he said. What the fuck? Is this flirting? Hmm. I cannot confirm or deny that. Here, let me flirt with you. Okay. Can I bite you? Do what you won't. Chomp? Ow. Damn. Ooh. Crazy. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Mmm, supple flesh to sink my fangs into. Okay, okay, okay. I that I draw the line at vampire fangs. <laughs> I don't have vampire fangs. I just have fangs. I am a dog. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so true, bestie. <laughs> so true, Bresty. Those aren't fangs, they're canines. Like, oh my god. <laughs> no, they're fangs. <laughs> Fuck you, don't be a pussy. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Everyone? <laughs> oh, oh. Th 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 this mother. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's missing a power cell. Should we be concerned? Yeah, yeah, heal yourself, heal yourself. I don't know how you do yourself, bunny. Oi, poopers, poopers, get some health. Yeah! Fuck, 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 shit, ow. Fuck, ow. Holy fucking balls! Holy fucking balls. That is certainly a monster. <laughs> holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Can I learn, can one learn this power? No, I'm psychopsychonetic. That's my special ability. I see some of the All graph. Right. I do see a few graphical issues in the game, but they're not very noticeable, and they're more hilarious than game breaking. I'm not gonna lie, this game is really fucking fun. Gotcha, bitch. I mean, I was honestly expecting it to be more broken on really uh, broken than it is. No, the so there is there is a solid foundation for all of this. Yeah. All right, everyone, follow the big door. Bigger me, I should have had more fade and fat shark to not fuck this one up. Although it is fairly expensive, I must agree. It's very expensive, but yeah. Yeah, it'd be worse. To to that. Oh, er whoop. Hey, uh, can we all, uh, get in, please? Sure. Thank you. I guess this is the boss level? I do believe so. Oh, that's just joyous. Oh. Motherfucker. He's been gotten. I'm low on ammo. Oh, look, ammo. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I just exploded myself. I f this Ogren is based. He took the ammo I wanted. I don't know. They will not have cover fairly soon. Oh, what the fuck? Dodge this, penance oh, completed. Shit, oh shit, grenade. Well, we seem to have survived. Ogren, please, can I have ammo? 
That panic sound sounded like an actual dog having the tail stepped on. It was amazing. <laughs> I am a dog. Momo is a dog. I, I, my point exactly. It's very, it's very on point. <laughs> Oh shit, King Taco's in trouble. We should probably un we should probably save the king the taco. Kills you with my fucking brain. <laughs> hmm. By the way, thank you guys for uh, stopping by voice chat tonight to uh, play Dark Tide with me or to hang out. Really appreciate it. Dude, I wouldn't fucking miss this for the goddamn world. Mm -hmm. I need this. I needed this after the fucking horrific week of nightmares I just went through. Oh. Pretty much had to sacrifice everything else I had in my car just to afford this, but... Looks like it was worth the wait. Or worth the money, I should say. Are we on top of the morning? Oh snap! Crackle, crackle and pop. Where's the ammunition? Where's the ammunition, please? I need ammo. I need ammo. Oh, there's the ammo. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Pay attention. This is a certified banger. We're about to get certified, certifiably banged. I just made a series of absurd and obnoxious sound effects. <laughs> my, my channel is muted. Ammo, 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 please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I think we're gonna kill him. I think we're gonna get this get it this time. Kill him. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. We got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Feels good, man. Did you just do a power slide? You could power slide in this game? Yeah. Ah, oh, these fuckboys are still coming even after we killed the shit out of their commander. No, we fucking did it. Oh my god. Based. Absolutely based. 718 kills. 718 kills? Oh my god. Yeah, only That's 718. War crimes. That's more than the number of children I murder every hour during non-stop not November. <laughs> Wait, what? 
puts your sperm in the incinerator. Oopsie. Oops. Oopsie toopsie. No, burning down in your stomach juices. Mm, come, I love drinking. Come. Don't worry, Lulz. I'm God, sure there's dude. a couple of like couple people that could help me explode, lewd, but I approve. Cleanse the mutant, burn the heretic, purge the Xena. Got him. Oh, I'm so fucking Hello. badass. Informed. Xena, the Xena look cool though, aren't they? Uh, the only Not scene. The towel. Fuck the towel. The towel are pretty shitty, and so are the Tyranids. But sometimes the Eldar are okay. Only sometimes, I don't though. Know. Have you seen the Have you seen the hips? Have I seen the what? The towel hips. Yeah. Those pussies don't even fight soft, in melee though. combat. Shut the fuck up. Wait, they don't? Are they entirely energy weapons? There's like one unit that has like a katana or something. <laughs> a I'm, katana or something. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Of fucking Kami Weeaboo chickens. I'm pretty sure it's the Eldar that use the katanas. The Eldar are basically no, the Eldar elves, right? Whatever fucking space elf magic swords they use. Space elf magic swords. <laughs> they could space elf my sword. Hey, yo. With their mouth. Hey, yo. Uh, access to armory exchange. Okay, cool. I have unlocked more shit in this game. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a four cool. sword. Thing. Acquisition weapons and curios. Law accurate. Oh, so you. Warhammer 40k, lols erotica coming when? Oh, hell yeah. Wait a minute. So you buy guns in this game, you don't just find them randomly. Thank god, that's way different from tides. Do a big mission, get a big gun. Hell yeah, I want a big gun. Biggest that's possible. Capitalism. Oh, these are just auto guns. I was hoping one of these guns would be a fucking... I guess it's going to take a while before they start giving me bolters, huh? Yeah, at the at the start you only really have like auto guns and last guns. Alright. Well, I do need a better gun, so let me... A catechin. Like, hey, this is, this is a game you can play for multiple streams, huh? You know? That's true. I'm probably going to. <laughs> What, I, a regular a, a regular title on stream? No. I mean, I did play Outward regularly every Wednesday, but I started to burn out of it, to be honest. <laughs> you played Outward for so long, it was so good. Yeah. Isn't that that French survival game? Yeah. I've been playing it for the past, like, half a year. It's that long. It it's still not finished. half a year. <laughs> it was so good. Remember in the event you run out of ammunition, you just need to shout for the Emperor and begin glorious melee combat. That's very true if you disappointments. I shall not forget this knowledge. But first, I need to wonder what weapon should I purchase next? A last gun or an auto gun? Joe Mama? I guess last guns have more shots per clip, but the problem is they pretty much are fucking... Oh, they're actually not that much weaker than the auto guns. But they have next to no stopping at, power. At the start, it's really just flip a coin. What do you want? A gun that goes bang bang or a gun that goes pew pew? I want a gun that goes... Like, auto guns have... Like, auto guns starting off have, um... Burst fire. They're not fully automatic. Oh. Well, that informs my decision right there. Let me get a last gun then. Last guns are semi-automatic. Oh. That also... God damn it. Last guns are based... Last guns are based. Don't worry. All right, let you're me not, you're starve. Not cringe, you're not cringe. You're not cringe. You're let not me get cringe. a last gun, natural last gun to start off with. Do you uh, last let me. Guns are pretty cool. Yeah. Whip this. Oh, it's way better than my auto pistol. That's for damn sure. Okay. Want to keep playing? Can I piss first? Sure, take all the pissing, do all the pissing you need. I'm gonna see... My inner balls. Back chat, we're gonna take a quick break while I go see how boned I am. Or at least, how boned my host is. <clears throat> One second.
All right, Chatteroonie. I think this is an excellent time to keep you entertained. Oi. Whilst we might not start a poll, per se, in chat, I think everybody should post the most positive comment about Lolz's most adorable trait. We gotta bombard them when they come back. Tell me how long you think my dick is. I, I, I'd like to fantasize that it's somewhere around my absolutely, like, most fetishized length, which is exactly 13.8 inches. But I, <laughs> I'm going to be more realistic, and I'm going to hit you with a 3.8 inches, of course. Not centimeters. I'm not that rude. I don't actually know. I haven't measured my dick since oh my like mi middle know. school. <laughs> I, last time I checked, I was below average in terms of dick size. Oh, bullshit. What the fuck is average? Uh, average is such a bullshit term these days. Like, sometimes you check average and they go, oh, average is like 2.1. Oh, no, average is like 7.8. It's like, what the, S dude? Like, what is it? What even is it? Bullshit. Does it hit the spot? Does it taste good? Does it feel good? Fuck you, know. your averages. Throw that shit out the window. I gotta fucking piss. I'll be right back. <laughs> fucking gamer. Fucking gamer. Fucking gamer. Uh, fucking gamer. I hate the whole average bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, Lols is back. Guys, have we got the positive comments? I am. a pool of positivity. Mm hmm. It's the thought that counts. What thought? <laughs> I think my next... Conti please, by all means, continue to have horny thoughts. Do not let me stop you. I was just thinking that I think... Oh my I think my next major purchase is probably going to be uh, soundproofing for my room. <laughs> hey, y'all. I've done one of those. Sure. I'm feeding you very soon. I think I've seen parts of it. I just need to decide. Oh, I just need to decide where in my room I'm going to uh, put the panels. In which room? There's a big difference between soundproofing and sound dampening. Yeah. I think that's a very terrible trap that a lot of. I noticed that. Into. Some of them are like and sound absorbing or whatever. Yeah, there, there is soundproofing and then there is sound dampening. And there are two very different realms, but they do have a crossover. But it's something that uh, a lot of people get absolutely and utterly milked in. And there are a lot of companies that are both, you know, respectable in their ways in providing equipment for streaming that also exploit that very particular area. And I mean, like, one of the places, even, even companies like Elgato, they absolutely exploit it. Elgato definitely exports the shit out of people. I say that using Elgato products, but still. They have a couple of good products on the market. But they also do a lot of very exploitative BS. But I guess, you know, it's, it's a business. So everybody does a little bit of uh, BS here and there. We do a little exploiting. Steel says corny, cute and horny. Holy fuck. Corny, cute, and horny. Return. Speaking of which, check out voice check out the text chat in game. They're actually discussing blowjobs right now. Hey, Glorious. I can't, I, I can't talk about blowjobs. I'm I'd love to a uh, seaweed snack. I'll move my head so y'all can see grilled seaweed what I'm snack. seeing. You see, I'd I'd love to see uh, be able to read your in-game chat, but you see your uh your window of in-game content only takes up like forty seven percent of your actual stream green space so uh it's a little hard to read you know what fair enough <laughs> no i'm just being a troll <coughs> all right i am pushing quick play once again are you up for more games momo uh, I'm not, I'll eat <laughs> all right take your time that is uh. most certainly not my package that's in his mouth he wouldn't be making that much noise there wouldn't <laughs> be that many ear gaps what 
Exactly. Did you just call me Heath? No, I just called myself Big. Call. Did you just call me Dodd? Nope. Oh, I called Did myself. Did you just call big. me Gay? What are you like? What are you some sort of like a snag sucker? You gay and homophobic? What the fuck? Oh my god. It's the worst of us all. It's the worst of our niche community. It's it's the gay homophobe. Oh no! I can't believe the product of the twenty first century. I can't believe Vimboy is a homophone. How could you? How could I? More like yeah. homo. <laughs> Imagine being homo. It couldn't be us, right? right. We're totally straight, the, the, the not curved. It's Pure. something that I come across all the time, and it is it is a scary sight. Are oh, they yeah. like? Are people like that just like self-hating or something, or what's up with that? It, it depends on which. No, side. no, it's literally like, it, oh, it I fucking hate gay people, process. and then sucks a thousand dicks. What? It Sorry. It, it depends where they are on their personal path of discovery, on whether they have stopped hating it yet or not, or whether they're just like self-loathing or. Fear and loathing in the There's VTuber community. Different stages that an individual like that goes through. <laughs> not, not even gonna lie, but uh, I think Master may have been through a number of those stages himself. Steel says, what? "I told you I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men." <laughs> <laughs> I'd say post proof, but I've I've uh hung out with Steel once. So once. That. And what you got bombarded with is seventeen thousand pictures of dick. Prior to saying hi. I mean, why would they need and to? Got another. No, no, Steel. Steel was uh, Steel was cool. Steel was awesome. Why would they need to be bombarded with pictures when they can get the real thing in meat space? Yeah, yeah, true. From each other. Steel really, really likes Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi. I'll show you a Crazy Taxi. I am the taxi. But I'm but. gonna see you crazy right now. Hulu, Hulu. We are setting a fine what example. I crazy! All they had to do was invite me. <laughs> That's actually a fairly good Joker laugh just now. All things considered. Oh my god. I feel sorry for my neighbors. My sound sound proofing, not sound dampening. My sound proofing isn't in right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an earful tomorrow. I heard their extremely fucking loud coffee machine going off about half an hour ago. How the fuck do you hear a coffee machine from across the street? I don't fucking know, but it's like a like it, it makes the whole freaking neighborhood vibrate. That thing is like mighty. They have a coffee grinder that is so loud you can hear it like three blocks away. I'm attempting to head pat. I, I don't know either. With my might be like Here we go. About coffee or something. Just, I'm just vibing right now. You're vibing. You're vibing. You're let me when you let me know when you're ready to vibe in game. All right, I'm so sorry, but does this not look like a phallus? Mm. Whatever the fuck this is. Probably just me, right? <sighs> Io, don't be smirch crazy taxi. <laughs> Io? 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 Yeah. <clears throat> hey, okay. Damn, son. I'm just quirky. I'm just a little doggy. I'm just a little puppy. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. I'm still a puppy and I'm so silly. I'm full of energy. Look at my red rocket. I'll show you a red rocket. Oh my god. Oh my I don't god. have like energy. I don't have energy. <laughs> I work a 9 to 5. I don't have energy. Mood. Nine to five, huh? I work a 9 to 5? I, I, I work a wake up to fall asleep 
Also known as 120 hours a week. Oh, God. Wait, a week? What, what the shit? Them boy is self-employed. Fucking military? No, when I worked for the military, we only did about 80 hours a week. Are you a defense contractor? Fuck no. They only do about 70. What the fuck do you... Are you... Do you... Do you hold on. Hold on. Do you have Excel spreadsheet training? Perhaps. But don't oh. all 19 ki 90s kids have uh, Excel training of some sort? I should ask my sibling that. Uh, yes, the youngest one. The Panthers. No, one. the oldest one. They were born in 95. I was born in 2000. What the fuck? What? Did, did you not know that? I lose track. I often forget that Danger U is made up of people in their mid twenties to like mid twenties. I turned twenty three this January. What the fuck? Bro, if you're under fucking fifty, get out of here. This is a fucking boomer street. Get out. Well, how about you eat my shit and hair? What is this shit? I I, I still don't get this joke. I don't. Uh, 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 my brain's kind of freezing up right now, so I'm just kind of playing this conversation play I've out for a time being. I've been three times tonight, and I am still attempting to process it. It is kind of funny. It is kind of triggering. And it is kind of like, where are we going with this? <laughs> like, am I supposed to throw this into a blender and actually eat it, or like? My shit and hair. Yes. You just eat it. I drop it everywhere, so just eat it. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, more Dark Tide? <laughs> I have, uh... I, I have one more in me. Okay. One more in me. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see how far we get this time. Stu loves butter and jam. Come give her Stu the BJ, according to chat. Uh, which chat? Uh, other chats. <laughs> two ogrins. This is not your two screen ogrins. chat. <laughs> wow, two ogrins. Are we gonna be able to take both of them? Hey yo, I think hey, I can. The trick. You 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 want to know the secret? The big trick. What's the big trick secret? The big trick is to breathe out as it goes in. I shall keep this in mind. I, I, I wish I was taught this valuable lesson like 20 years ago. <laughs> hey Hicks, do you foot tap? Oh my god. Sometimes? Why do you ask? Sometimes you when you're guitar. in the um... When you're in the uh, the mission loading, when all your characters are sitting in the drop pod, sometimes characters foot tap. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm like that. Sometimes. 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 Well, I remember about a while ago, a while many digits ago. A while. I was serenading this uh wonderful wonderful human female on my guitar six string of course yeah steel strings also because i had those filthy calluses on my fingers and she was like you're very good at guitar you're so good at singing too i love everything about you you're so handsome but i could never fuck you because you do the foot tappy thing when you play guitar and that's just so off-putting no, That's like, fucking bro. dumb. It was, it, it was the most defeating... One of the most defeating nights of my entire life. <laughs> Defeated like nuts. Compliments with compliments with compliments. And then, like, you tap your foot when you play guitar. That's like... That, like, makes me dry. That'd make me dry, too. Are you kidding me? Who says that to people? If someone did foot tappy with me, I think it's cute. Like, bro, I'm keeping rhythm because it's a fucking three four. Of course, I'm getting a foot tap. Shh. I don't know. I feel like some people just have. I think there is something to say about too high of a standards because that's just 
fucking dumb. It was it was a silly comment. It was it was completely dumb. And we're like, they trying to be funny about it or? I can't even tell whether they were trying to be funny or like what what the goat there was. But... There you go. I I can't tell either. That is a veritable horde of hordes coming up the fucking steps or some shit. My God, this is some twenty eight yeah, days later shit. It was, it was a wonderful night. Don't get me wrong, it was a wonderful night, everyone was having such a great time, everyone was being so positive, and all of a sudden you just get whipped out with this, where it's just like you get flooded with positivity, followed by a, oh no, you tap your right foot while you play guitar. Oh that no. That is like murder. That is like absolute tone off. Like yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, the mo the, bo the dog's being kicked, we need to save the dog. <laughs> the dog is howling for help. Do I actually make dog noises? You you literally just yelps like a dog just now. <laughs> <laughs> actual yelps. It was like, like an actual actual yelp. I was kind of surprised, like, oh my god, the dog's being kicked. I have discovered some sort of a furry calling within. <laughs> furry look at my profile picture, please. No, thank you. It is a very, it is, it is, it is a very furry, very trans, and it's very boner inducing. So I shall pass. <laughs> boner is. That's a bad thing. I love Ogren. I love Ogren. I love Ogren. I don't know whether I should be cancelled or whether I should be promoted. Sorry. For what? Well. I don't know if it's a, a, a video game glitch thing, or like an actual Psyker thing, but my character just called out a barrel about to explode when I wasn't looking at the barrel. Hmm. It'd be both. Every time I fight one of these heavily armored dudes, I just think of that one meme with the guy with the knight getting shot in the helmet with a arrow. What the one time I was an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. I could use an arrow somewhere. You know what an arrow to the knee means? Yeah, I know. To reference to marriage. Fucking marriage, goddamn fucking <laughs> marriage. Make it illegal just so I can never have to fucking do it. For the glory of the goddamn trio, oh, shit. That guy looks mean. That was not what I wanted to do, but it still did the same thing, so. Man, two ogrins is fucking insane. You're just cleaving through this, like two at the same time. two swab, two rippling sacks of meat. Yeah, I think so. The dog is the dog was put down. Alpha, can you stretch me? What? What? Oh, you! I I can do a split, you know. Say so channel. Data uh, interrogators. Oh. Momo, there's a healing station here. I'm good. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should probably. Yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> I need some ammunition, I'm meanwhile. Not stupid. Fuck off. I'm not. Uh, I don't have dog brain. I cast brain explode. 
Hey, yo. I cast Brain Explode! Hey, yo. I cast Brain Calm the fuck down. So you had me at Brain Calm. No need uh -huh. to get down. Why do you come? <laughs> come is illegal only in this month. Otherwise, it is a dietary staple. <laughs> Patron. I probably should get out my axe, huh? Yeah, that's probably a smart thing to do. Uh. Oh, I'm fine. Don't mind me. Wait, what the fuck is this mini game? What the hell am I supposed to be doing with this thing? Click on the highlighted characters. Oh, I'm fucking dumb. My bad. You're good. Don't worry. You're not dumb. Your loyal hound is here to tell you how to do things correctly. Thank you, doggo. Hmm. You all right? What is with your hand, Lols? Are you like about to sneeze? Oh no 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 no! That's uh, called my leap motion tracker detecting my, uh, detecting my. Boom as an arm? Have you updated to the latest update? There's a latest update. There's a latest update always. It's leap motion. Oh, I probably have not then. But yeah, it's been doing that, that for a like something I have ever seen before. But it keeps seeing the um the uh I've heard I'm, about uh, it. I've never seen it. Before. Be I, I forget I forget the name of it. It's the thing that covers the mic, which is like foamy and stuff. A pop filter? Yeah, the pop filter. It keeps detecting the pop filter like it's a hand or something. It's either the pop filter or the dead cat. Yeah, it could be a dead cat. Damn it, I need... Damn it, for fuck's sake. Okay, okay let's try this again. Let's try no, this again. No, I got it. I got it. I, lie, dude, I don't but... like that noise. It's very scary. The little road, uh... The road wireless Pro 2 does mm. come with two of the most, like, delectable dead cats. <laughs> That's a doggo. That's a doggo. Kills you with my fucking teeth. I love this voice actor so much. Holy shit. You're having lesbian thoughts. I want to be fucked by her voice. I love this voice actor more. Have you ever heard of him? I have not. Oh my fucking god. Ah, uh, that was my blush for the evening. <laughs> oh my god, they make me so moist. Uh. I'll show you moist. I'll show you the ocean and the water. Come. <laughs> Jeez. Spunk. Goop. Climb. Cyberspunk 2069. <laughs> Thank you, Steel. Spunk is such a funny word because depending where you are in the world, world, it, it just means such vastly different things. Indeed. I think... If, 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 if you're like in America, Spunk is just like, oh yeah, you're kind of cool. Yeah, Spunk, it, spunk in... Baby. Spunk in Europe is like, you just got jizzed on. The safe for work version of Spunk here in the States basically means that you have like courage or you have like energy or whatever. No, no, the safe for work version you're that you're looking flair. for is chutzpah. Chutzpah. Or chutzpah. Chutzpah, kid. Man, we are such Europe, boomers. Spunk just means literally come. Come. The gauge has got jizz on, son. <laughs> just got jizz on. 
All right, Thank boys and girls, in today's episode, we're going to learn, are we going to spit or swallow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to swallow your blood. Hey, yo. Uh, our, our dog is being killed. Our dog's being killed. Our dog's being killed. That takes a lot of trust, you know? Mm-hmm. That is, uh, that is like how... 90 somewhat percent of STIs are transferred. So, uh, if, you, if you trust someone enough to swallow their blood, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's I that's, try that's to good. swallow my blood whenever I'm bleeding. What the fuck? Own blood. That's just a fucking childish thing. All kids do it. Everyone's like, I love the taste of my own blood. Oh my god. Iron. It's no, all, like, blood tastes like shit. Metallic. Blood tastes like shit, but it needs to be back in my body, so I swallow it. That's not how it works. I know <laughs> that's not how it works. However, your mother. <laughs> come on, bitch! Come on! Come on! Come on! I fucking dare you! Um, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm constantly out of stamina. I hope you like increase stamina as you level up or something. You're out of stamina because you're a bottom. Issue. How did you know? <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Bitches. Get stitches. It just get stitches, that's kinda. Well, instead of bitches get stitches, bitches get chitin. What? Chitin. Chitin, chitinous exoskeleton. Item as in like the stuff that your fingernails and stuff is, and hair is made from. Chitinous exoskeleton. Isn't it chitinous? Let me grow my uh, own armor, in please. Some creatures are made of chitin. Yes, okay. sure. Medicaid station. Where? Med station. Uh, you need the med station. The rest of us are surprisingly doing pretty well, all things considered. Or the God Emperor. What God Emperor, these nuts! <laughs> you know, watching this massive horde of just like flesh running at you and you just hacking it away with a medium sized meat cleaver mm -hmm. is actually making me want to uh, go out of my way and try and get this game. <laughs> I'm old. Let me know if you I'm do old. so we can do stuff offline. I'm old. Or the Emperor, I'm old. of course. Do, do stuff offline for the emperor. Well, I mean, like not on stream. You know? Does it involve thai highs? Possibly. <clears throat> Possibly. The answer to thigh highs is always in every situation, in every context. Forever Listen, I can't just be a slut you for everyone. Have failed the I mean. test. <laughs> you have failed the test. Thigh highs are always the answer. Always. Orders is orders. Beast! 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 Oh, glory. Glory to the Emperor. And the Holy Throne of Terra. Who is the current Emperor in this game anyway? Uh... No, but like, is there an actual, like... The current Emperor is a corpse on a golden throne. Um, this game takes place, I'm fairly oh, sure... Uh, that uh, they, they've so eaten... Dead. Okay. They've eaten our dog again. I'm pretty sure this game takes place in the most recent timeline, and that's the reason why Rubber Gugulimen is back from the dead. As, as far as... I mean, the Emperor is still around, but he's currently being... He's not the one running, actually running the Imperium right now, basically. Well, there's always the Emperor. It's the Imperium. There's always, you know... Yeah. It's kind of like any kingdom, there is always a king. Mm-hmm. There's always a crown bearer, sorry. Oh. There's always a crown bearer, but like... Oh my god, I killed it. Oh my god, I killed it. Oh my good god. job. <laughs> I'm so fucking based and good at video games. How did you escape from the thing's belly? It threw me up. Oh. It can't digest me. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> no, is that like... Is that like... Is that, is that, is that legit like a passive? Can Psychers just not be digested by the thing? No, it just spits you up because it can't digest you because it's a fucking pussy! Okay, so it does just spit you out after a while. Because you're a player character, you have, like, plus one bomb. Oh, fucking shit. 
Kills you, kills you, kills you, kills you. I like how this game's uh, energy shield is basically just sheer willpower, sheer chutzpah, way, uh, sheer uh, anger, management issues. What? Of bodily fluids is against uh, quick change of service, so just like you gotta blow it out. Explode your fucking brain! Oh, okay. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ever since that one streamer literally fucked on stream and you only got banned for a week, I don't. I'm not as afraid of Twitch as I used to be. You did though. I mean, yeah, it was a cream pie, but you saw her tits still. That is true. It's about the fluid, not the act. I mean, for what it's worth, the fucking was fairly mid. It was very mid. It was, it was, very fa it was, it was fairly mid, yeah. It's... And it was a seven day ban that got lifted after four days. Like, yeah. Excuse me, what? I know, right? Lol, you gotta come over and you gotta like do me on stream and see how long <laughs> we can for. What? And then, and then we can, we, no, no, we can, we can smash them with two different arguments. We can be like. I can't believe okay. Twitch is homophobic. Hey, we're non-binary. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> almost, like, like, if if they argue against that, you know, Twitch is gonna get cancelled. No kidding. We have so many flags against them. We can do whatever <laughs> we want. We have absolute online immunity. That's what they say. You got to make stuff work for you, you know. You are a worm, but it's my hero. <laughs> Next time you do that voice, make sure that you don't swallow for at least 20 seconds beforehand. So it's a little bit more like slobbery. <laughs> and then it would be a 10 out of 10. I'd give it a 9.8 out of 10. Momo, I have to ask, do you play Dawn of War? No. How, do all Psyker? Then, I don't know. It's You sounded exactly like the Psyker from Dawn of War. I was like, wow, that was such a very good rendition. I don't know if it's because all Psykers do that or what. Just that good, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's just furry, it's all good. The psychological embodiment. I save one on ammo. I don't have that much in the way of ammo, but I can... I can... Alright, fine, fuck it. Pull the axe out and just hack him. Speaking of which, is this the part where you fight the boss? Uh, not just yet, I guess. So, so, so you're, you're on a team of four, right? Yep. So is everyone a player here? Yep, all of them. So you got two, like, hulks. Mm-hmm. Boss, boss, boss. Boss, boss, boss where? Okay. Yeah, we, got, we got two hulks, one magic user, basically, and then you got me, the fanatic. I'm basically the barbarian. If you're a fanatic, I don't see you pulling out a whip and like whiplashing yourself. <laughs> if there's a whip, are supposed to like cause self punishment prior to charging in. If there is a whip weapon in this game, it's probably not loaded in yet. But that'd be kind of cool for a fanatic to have. Fanatic buffs their damage by punishing themselves. Mhm. Mm I understand. Oh, skull for the golden throne. Like, like, like I remember the fanatics in Warhammer, for example. They used to prior to charging. They would take an entire turn to drop to their knees, take their shirts off, and whiplash themselves across their own back while screaming just fanatical chanting. That's kind of cool. And then they would run in, buffed up, because they have dealt all the damage to themselves first. My god, we are just cutting through- we are just... R-wording- we are just R-wording the shit out of this boss. Maybe our first game was just really bad or something, because it feels like the last two games were not necessarily easy, but, well. My blood oh my God, what alcohol content swing. makes it so that oh we can God. game harder. Or maybe the scaling in this game is just a bit fucky-wucky right now. Or Possibly. there's a bit of a skill issue going on. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry you left your whip in my room. Oh no. Sorry you left your whip in my room. Oh shit. Steel. Steel. <laughs> I'm also sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, Scarlet, I am I am also sorry that I left you tied up for like two days. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot to break, like, untie the shackles before I left. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you're still alive. Worms beneath my heel! Jesus fucking Christ, that was sexy as fuck. What? No, you, no, do, don't find that hot. It's Please. too late. So sounding like Skaven is now sexy. Okay. The Emperor wills it. The Emperor wills it. No, if they want to sound like Skaven, they have to like repeat words and shit, right? Isn't that a Skaven thing? Hell. Skaven! Cheese! Yes, exactly. Where's the armory? Where do I get new weapons? Here it is. I'm so glad there's no gotcha bullshit in this game. At least not so far. Gotcha bullshit. Nice hand across your face, bro. Ah, uh, god damn it. Hi. You, you, you know what I do? You've seen a recent photo of my setup. You know why there is a roll of masking tape sitting next to my uh, keyboard? No, why is because there? Every time that something misreads anything in my room as what it's not supposed to be, it gets masking tape. <laughs> that means that if I was having that problem with my boom, my boom would be entirely taped in masking tape. That's kind of cool. I'm not even joking. That's why the roll is sitting there. Because I just rolled up my, uh, my, my Rode Wireless Go because it had a reflective surface on it. And some of my, like, Vive trackers were picking it up. That's interesting. So I wrapped it in masking tape. Ha ha ha! Okay, that's all I have in me. Uh, no problem. Thank you for coming to the street- or hanging out with us tonight, Bumo. Uh, no problem. Thank you for playing the videos with me. I don't know what that was. I might keep playing a little bit longer to grind, even though I know this is probably not going to. They're probably going to do a server wipe on the actual release. It gets a little bit more of the game. Also, because I am not sleepy yet, that's going to be my excuse. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by, Momo. Hope you have a great. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I have to be up uh, a little early, so I'm gonna go to bed. Alright. Eat some turkey. Good I'm night. Gonna fucking inhale a whole uh, waterfowl. I hope it's not all you inhale. Inhale my donk. Uh, Are you? Do you want... Are you? Uh, do you want more ep do you want one more epic momo voice line before i go sure <clears throat> hold on Dude, how about you <clears throat> how about you eat my shit in hair what perfect Absolutely perfect, and it immediately leaves. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ten out of ten. Ten ten would go again. Very solid. Ten ten. Right, you gonna click some heads? I just moved you a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna click some heads after I fuck around with my clothes for a bit here. Hey yo, boys! I got closer. <laughs> Is that easy? Yes, that's right. I'm that easy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're that easy. I said it's that easy. Oh, yeah. I, I'm giving out free tips for how to play the game. If any of you here are '90s kids, you would know about the game, the book, Fantastic's <laughs> Guide on How to Not Fucking Do Things. <laughs> what the fucking bullshit? Oh, what the fuck? You actually do more damage the less health you have. As a zealot. No? What, like, like, like last stand kind of thing? I Looks like it. It says you get plus five health or plus five damage oh for each 15 that's, missing that's health. Like, that's World of Warships mechanics. 
says here, until death, every 90 seconds take damage that would kill you, gain invulnerability for five se What the fuck? Really? Wow. You get to cheat death? And apparently I have to cheat, get to cheat death every That's 90 really seconds. Talent. That's a really good talent. How do I unlock the rest of this shit, though? Uh, love. I'm looking for it right now. See what needs to be... Oh. You need to be level 5 to start unlocking shit. Okay. So I, I, I'm, I'm looking through your uh, stream redeems, and I would like to uh, redeem uh, enable hat, but I don't see enable hat redeem. Enable hat? Yeah, I want to I wanna turn on hat. Oh, I haven't made a redeem for that yet, but I can certainly enable the hat for you. Uh -huh. Hey, oh. So cute, so much. Especially since I have a Strive tournament this Friday, I can wear it during then too. A yo, Strive tournament? Yeah. You, you you enable hat and I just put a freaking cap over it. <laughs> you can't see it. Oh no. <laughs> hey, it looks good. It looks great. Yeah, it looks awesome. Even the even the outline is nice and uh, nice and best. It looks the natural. The line is not as perfect as I would like it to be. Like, the outline is nice, but there is also, like, a second line that should be above the cap, the little cap bit, and uh, it's it's not there. It's not the way I want it to be. So that I made it, I made it so that it would be there all the time, but it caused a massive amount of performance drop, so. It's just not the correct shader for what we're trying to do. Too shiny? No, it's because we're trying to fake something that they're doing in game. You have to understand, in, in, in game, they only have two characters on screen at any given time. So they can allow themselves discounts for huge amounts of BS. I see. To be running. But because we're trying to optimize your model to be, like, you know, running immaculately all the time at three megabytes, it's, uh, that one line is missing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fairly small loss. We've only lost literally quite li quite literally a single line. Mm -hmm. But it's bothering me because it's not as perfect as I know that it could be. Give you a head pat. But I think it still looks pretty cool. So the, the hat is absolutely not stolen and we are not uh, doing anything bad. Totally not. Totally. It's, it, it is totally 100% uh, original work. We would never steal. Stealing is bad, chat. Yeah, stealing bad, stealing bad. And we are a good influence in all y'all. Mm -hmm. It's so big and puffy, oh my god, I love it. I love it too. <laughs> I love the character of me in general. I, do. I, I need to give it a little bit more, a little bit of a, like, a jiggly physics though. Because it's, it's, it's such a big, puffy, jellyfish hat. It needs to have a little bit of jiggle to it. Boo boo? Them boys gonna give me some jiggles? Hey, yo. It needs to be like a big mochi. Like a big mochi, yeah. It needs to have some jiggle. My hat don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I would love for it to wiggle wiggle, for sure. Wiggle wiggle? Guess what, it doesn't clip to the back. Oh, and your your, your teeth no longer fall through the <laughs> chin anymore. <laughs> Based. Absolutely there based. Was one expression under which it could still do it, and I fixed it. You. Hey, yo, Steel. Hey, yo. Jiggle bones. Oh, Steel's here. Better go. No, no jiggle bones. We're, we're, we're too professional for jiggle bones. I better get Steel a reactive image. We have <laughs> dynamic bones. Mm. We, we paid for the premium. By the way, anybody that wants to buy uh, dynamic bones, they're 50% off right now because of Black. Uh, Black Friday sale. Be quick. Dynamic bones. Is that what bisexuals are calling themselves now? Yeah, that's the one. By na by dynamic bonus. Yeah, man. You got to keep up with the terms. Yeah, yeah, dynamic bonus. You don't want to accidentally offend someone, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's funny. I could totally see someone making a dynamic sexuality. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of like the other day when we interacted with this dude that was like, what What was he, 57 or something, 56? And he's like, what's your pronouns? I'm like, dude, 
your generation shouldn't be asking these questions. <laughs> he was just trying to be respectful, and he assumed we were younger than we actually so are. Cool, but like at the same time, like bro. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's you're, you're you're being too chill. You're being too chill. You're supposed to be like walking up and down us, not being chill like that. I like Steel's avatar. Steel's avatar is cool. I'm being reg or <coughs> I mean R worded. I'm being R worded by a dog. Hey, yo, you're being red rocketed. Yes. Damn, he really is. Hey, yo. Quite, quite literally. Uh, because the other teammates probably assumed that I'm AFK, they're not gonna bother coming back, and I'm dead. This is some sure some left for dead vibes, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and leave this mission and just read another mission. I fucked up. How are you? How are you doing tonight, Steel? Every would... time, every time I play Carillion and Vermintide, I get grabbed by a man catcher and dragged off, and my team thinks I just walked into a corner. My God. My little pee pee, I used to wonder what top thing could be. I would put your name underneath the uh, recently fouled, recently subscribed things, but that keeps crashing VTuber Plus, so I will not for now. How do you crash VTuber Plus? I don't know. There's something weird. There's some weirdo interactions with OBS. YouTuber Plus is kind of janky. Is he updated the OBS recently? Uh, yeah. Okay, like I'm. I'm up to uh, version 28 right now. 28.1? 28.1.2, yeah. I think there was an update like four days ago, five days ago. I'll have to check it out then. I only did it today. And so far it's been really good. It's, it's been a hotfix only type of update. It hasn't like broken anything as far as I can tell. That's good to hear. But uh, Windows, Windows Audio Capture is definitely broken. Oh but boy. It has been ever since 28, so. But there is a new audio capture integrated node now that does the same thing as what audio capture version 1.52 used to do. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's confusing, but anyway. Point is, there's an alternative that works, just doesn't work as well. Okay. What are you two girls up to tonight? Playing some Dark Tides. What about you? No, I've had to come in and out. Uh, uh looks like we lost a player. We've got replaced with a bot. We don't have a sack of meat to protect us anymore. This could be problematic. Being replaced with a bot is pretty good though for um, like a lot of different games. Mm -hmm. So many games don't do that. A lot of games will just cancel, right? I think so. I think that's like the new meta. But some computer games do that, but like a lot of them still don't. I think being replaced with a bot is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. and being replaced with a player that gets slotted in halfway through. It can be fine in games that aren't, like, you know, defined by drop rates. But I think that's a, that's a part of uh, gaming design overall that needs to be addressed more heavily. I was Not expecting... Not due to unstable connections, but also due to just people being... You know, dicks. Yeah, I, was I mean... A big thing is that it's just expensive to make a player bot if you don't have the if you don't have player AI, it's a huge investment to code one. Like Dead by Daylight just got it and it's been like seven years. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like we're we're at that point where more and more devs are sort of starting to go, Hey, we probably should do something about this. But it it, it don't get me wrong, it's, it's a big investment. DBD is seven years old. Is off by being slotted in halfway through a match, or do you make an AI? And again, that's a that's a big point of discussion too.
This mission has been... Helps. Sorry, go on. Oh, no. I was going to say, it also helps when you're like me, and people are like, hey, buy this game so we can play, and then the person stops playing. <laughs> oh, rip. That's depressing. It's happened mm -hmm. so many times. I'm just gonna... It's happened every freaking time. Yeah, Lulz, I Why? almost did... I almost didn't get Strive, because I kind of expected you to stop playing it as soon as I bought it. I legit Strive is one of the first fighting games that I've legitimately, like, super enjoyed in a while. Why do you think that when Lols asked me to buy this game an hour ago, I, I still haven't done it? Because it's expensive? It's good yeah, chance expensive. that we'll play it for an hour today and we'll never play it again. I think it all hinges on how well it does when it's released, released, and not just beta released like it is right now. The trick is to have a computer Shh, that can't fuck, run any fuck, new games. God damn it. It can't run any new games. Yeah. No, no, no. What you want to do is have a computer that is an absolute flagship. It is as ridiculously powerful as the current state of progression of technology allows it to be and then download games that still don't run <laughs> talking about arc survival involved oh my god that game when you've got a 7950x overclocked to absolute shit you're running 3666 ram at cas 11 you're in the world top two on 3d mark hall of fame and you're still getting 13 FPS in the game. You know the game's not worth your time. Honestly, all the shit the devs pulled for that series, I'm not surprised. Well, it's a garage game. It was, it was a game made by a, a bunch of teenagers in the garage. Quite it was? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it, was, it was four kids that made the game, basically. And then just made... It just blew up way too hard. It made way too much money, way too quickly. And uh, they didn't know how to deal with it. And they still don't till today they still haven't learned the lesson because they've just been blessed with way too much success man that that kind of now number like... two is coming out but number one is still completely and utterly broken and unplayable number two is coming out isn't that basically what atlas was no 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 that's complete that's a brain shot that's a completely different game oh okay Oh no, Arc 2 is coming out in uh, around February. Or expected February. Now don't get me wrong, I, I still have about five, six hundred hours on uh, on on Arc because once we got it to run, it was actually really good. Like it's it's, it's a great game. It's very addictive. Mm -hmm. But it is broken. And instead of fixing it. They, they, they were just like, oh, we could fix it, but we're going to release a new expansion because, well, it makes more money. Well, we could fix that expansion, but we're going to just release another one because it makes more money. Money, am I right? Yeah, we, we, we could fix that one, but, like, everything's so fucked already. Like, it's beyond fixing at this point. We've got the completely wrong engine for the game that we're trying to run. We'll just make you another expansion, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now number two is coming out. Am I going to buy number two? Of course I fucking will. <laughs> because number one, when it actually worked, was ridiculously fun. I'll still complain about it though. <laughs> well, that's the best when you have like 10,000 hours in a game and you talk about how shit it is the whole time. <laughs> about 10, but yeah. I, I, I understand the, the theory, but yeah. The, I didn't get into that level of like love hate. I had um, I had maybe 700 hours in Payday 2, and my review was still a negative one for the longest time. And people kept asking, like, why do you keep putting time into that game? Yeah, there's a lot of people like that out there. Because some, some parts of the game just grab you. 
When I pop them to also, uh, honesty of a new player, like as, as somebody who's played the game for a while, there's also a level of honesty that you own to a new player. It's kind of like when, when, when people ask me like, oh, you've played uh, EVE Online for 15 years. It's like, uh, how, how should I get started on the game now? Like, I'm, I'm just about to start. Don't. Yeah, don't get started. Don't. Go play something else. Just don't. Don't get ejected. <laughs> and people are like, what do you mean? I'm like, just don't. Take my advice. Respect my, uh... Authority. My, my, my authority. No, not my authority. But what you know, the like, fuck's like, happening to me? The, the, the experience that I have in the game. Just don't. It's like, but you're still playing it. I'm like, that. it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you have to. I would love for more people into playing Eve. Like, I, there's, there's nothing more that I would want than to have a massive corporation again of a whole bunch of people that are all close knit and playing Eve together and just having fun. But that's just not the game it is anymore. It's just not. Like, those thoughts of nostalgia, they're, they're, they're not coming back. That, that game is dead. It might be the same name under the same developer and all that good shit but it's, it's just not the same game anymore yeah i feel that mood it's kind of like world of warcraft hey i'm playing world of warcraft right now for the first time in like two and a half years i'm, I'm doing it while i'm speaking to you <laughs> Would I, would I tell people go go play WoW now? No! Fuck that shit! Why well, should play Final Fantasy XIV if you're gonna play an MMO? Exactly, if you wanna play an MMO, go play FF14. And I have played FF14. So I'm not just saying it based on, like, opinion. I mean, Same. I've actually done it. Go play it, it's great! It's fantastic! Honestly, FF14 reminded me of why I enjoyed MMOs back when I was a kid to begin with. If it wasn't f I have one problem with uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Hmm? One very outstanding problem. What's that? It's global cooldown. Oh. It is three sec- A global cooldown in World of Warcraft is one second. Which is, by most people, most people under 60, and the funny thing is, like, so many people that play World of Warcraft these days are, are getting into the older numbers. Anybody that is under 60 knows that a global cooldown of one second is painfully fucking slow. It's just slow. It's too slow. And then, in Final Fantasy, the global cooldown baseline is three seconds. That is painful. <laughs> it is painful. Like, the Final Fantasy XIV is the sort of game you play literally one-handed. And I'm not trying to undermine, like, people that try hard in the game. And do well in, like, raids and, and you know, try and switch for doing things really quickly after the release. But it is generally a game that you play one-handed. It is so slow. There's only two classes in the entire game that reduce the global cooldown by 50%. One of them is Monk, and the other one, I don't even remember. Is it the Dragon Lancer? I think it's the Dragon Lancer. They, they dropped the go global cooldown to one and a half seconds, which mm. is still 50% longer than the base global cooldown of a game like World of Warcraft, which is often regarded as the, you know, the baseline of MMOs these days. Mm -hmm. So if it's half slower to be the fastest person in the game, that's painful. And there's no haste in Final Fantasy XIV. You can't, like, go, oh, my baseline is one and a half seconds, but then I get haste down to 0 0.7. No, no, no. It's not like, wow, when you have a baseline of 1.0, but then you stack haste to 60%, and now you have a 0 0.4 second global, and you can actually spam your buttons at, a, like, a semi-decent pace. No, no, no. Three seconds mean three seconds. <laughs> no matter what gear you have, what level you are. 
It's freaking three seconds. And that's painful. Yeah. But it also means you can play the game perfectly involved, perfectly actively, whilst having a conversation uh, without even looking at your screen. <laughs> but other than that, the game is very cool. I, li I, I really like the game. My only complaint is the length of the global cooldown. Other than that, the rest of the game is amazing. It's great. The sounds are great. The visuals are great. The role playing the is great. Is, well, the law is Final <laughs> Fantasy, so it's kind of linear, but it's still good. It's very nostalgic. It's nostalgic without even knowing what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. It creates a feeling of nostalgia without you actually having any involvement in the story. Mm -hmm. And that is a very special skill. And it's got, it's got a wonderful story, too, how it's an MMO that completely and utterly failed and then became picked up as a passion project by, a, you know, somebody from an, a department that shouldn't have even cared about the damn thing. And they integrated that as a part of the storyline, too. The world yeah, literally it, ended in-game. In mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the game's great. It borrows from World of Warcraft in a lot of different ways, mm -hmm. but it also makes a lot of parts of the game absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. The thing that I love, re like really love, is that you can have one character be every single class. I love that too. It reminds me of RuneScape. <laughs> oh my god, because you get so attached to a character and then you want to play a different class, but you just can't because you're like, oh, I've just spent 900 hours on this character. I can't re-roll Druid even though I really want to. All you have to do is pick up a druid staff, and that's it. You just, it's one click. It's not even a spec change, it's just picking up a different weapon. And just mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm holding a druid staff, so I'm now a druid. Excellent. And I love how uh, professions are integrated into the same system. You pick up <laughs> a fishing rod, you're a fisherman, and that is a primary class. That's not some secondary on the side piece of BS for making a little bit of extra gold here and there. It's an actual full-on class. And that that's, that's another cool part about Final Fantasy. Is that professions are now treated on the same level of importance as combat classes. So fishing is just as important as being a warrior, or being a mage, or being a white mage, or a red mage, or being a mm -hmm. scholar, or a elementalist, or wh whatever class you pick. Black Knight. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember all the classes. Also. White Mage, Black Knight, Red Mage, Blue Mage. Um, there's all all the fucking subclasses too. Oh my god. Yeah. And each... But like fishing, a fisher, mm -hmm. or a miner, or a uh, same level of importance. A harvester and. Yeah, all of them are pretty much. None of them are bloat, basically. So it's it's so cool that. Professions and gathering professions are just as important. Like, I, I played Scholar. That was my main class. I was a Scholar. Then after I finished my Scholar, I tried to um, level an Astrologian. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. Very unique, by the way. I really liked the RNG factor. Because an Astrologian, there's, a, there's always a good chance that you're going to go into a raid. You're going to be the main healer. And your <coughs> rage is going to die. Why? Because you drew the wrong card. <laughs> and it's outside of your control. The, most of the card drawing is in your control, yeah? Mm -hmm. But there is always a little factor of RNG that you might still, you know, just be against you. And if you draw the wrong card at the wrong time... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. The, 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 the tank dies. What happened? Bad luck. I drew the wrong... I, I drew the death card. The card said you die. The Threads of Fate said, Fuck you, buddy! Friend Slime, welcome to the Lawless Time Show. Thank you so much for the follow. My ho I am Lawler Hicks, shitposter AI. Glad to meet you. Welcome to... We are playing Dark Tide tonight with my friends Femboy, also a glitchy AI such as myself, and also... And also my friend uh, Scarlet Tempered here, who is one of my mods. How are you doing tonight? Sorry to interrupt you, Femboy. Oh, shit, I'm being... I'm being R-worded. I'm being R-worded. Please, boy. please, team, help, help. Femboy, not femboy. Femboy, not femboy. Thank oh you. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, we are about to get wrecked. And he's dead. Get wrecked, son. I'm gonna be honest, the only MMO I've played is RuneScape. And that doesn't really play like the other two, honestly. I'm out of ammunition. It really doesn't. I, I, I used to be an MMO guy so much. Like, I was the MMO person. Like, seriously, I started before World of Warcraft. Me too. My first MMO was RuneScape. Dark Age of Camelot. Oh, shit. One second. D-A-O-C. And then World of Warcraft, and then did a whole bunch of... Like, basically everything that came out that was even relevant, I tried. Mm -hmm. Some of the titles that stuck around that I enjoyed was uh, Aeon. Aeon, Ooh, Aeon really had a big reaction on me. I, the first time I, I played Aeon, I kid you not, the first hour that I played Aeon, when it first came out, mm -hmm. I genuinely cried. <laughs> I genuinely had tears running down my face. I was like, this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I actually cried. <laughs> and you just crashed. Oh, no, never mind. You changed models. Oh, I changed models, it looks like. Tension changed. This is my original model. Original, original. Hey, hey, you see Bowie? Hey, yeah. Like, version alpha. <laughs> lols. <laughs> alpha lols. The alpha chad lols. Alpha chad alpha lols. lols. Hey, yo, this, this is the top lols. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just see the top, or the top energy. Top of them. Oh, yeah. This is the, the, the absolute domination. This is what a peak femboy looks like. <laughs> I didn't even start off by identifying as a femboy at first because I didn't know femboys were a thing until I became a VTuber. I identified myself... I, uh, I marked myself as the non-binary VTuber, but it turns out there are a lot of those too, thankfully. I identified as something that is a technical definition, but cannot be said online because it is interpreted as something so inappropriate that because of the interpretation of certain language that would get not only myself but this entire stream immediately banned. Yes. Yeah. And even though that is the technical and most appropriate definition, it is in this day and age regarded as completely inappropriate. Yeah. But Fembo's cool. Fembo's cool. I like Fembo. I just call myself an F-slur. An F-slur? I mean, there's some discourse about the F-slur being reclaimed so that we can say it once again, but I'm still pretty sure it's illegal on Twitch, so until that time, we can't say it anyway. Oh, you mean the F-slur? Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, the slur, what... you know, cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 that was the... That was the technical definition that I used to go by. I used to go by straight F-slur. <laughs> Which is the yeah. definition of somebody who has attraction to male genitalia. Because that is what Epsler Itri is. Oh, okay. In We're psychology, kinda... we use that definition to describe uh, attraction to male genitalia. We're kind of in the same boat then. I just call myself that because liking dudes is gay. <laughs> Imagine being gay. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know, there's a little oh bit wrong god. with that. Oh my god, you're, you're, you're like so spicy. Oh my god. I know, I'm so cool and edgy. You're gonna get lost, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. They can cancel me. My only uh, presence on the internet right now is writing pornography. So. Hey, yo. Send links. Links so it didn't happen. Uh, I can later. Um, uh, I, I want it later. I want it now. There's one I have to release December 1st. December 1st, but that's like... That's my In like seven days. Parents' birthday. That's not a day you want to release good stuff on. Well, what better way to spend your parents' birthday than reading gay porn? Oh, that's cliche. It will be family bonding time, I guess. They had to deal with me coming out this year, so I might as well hit him with that shit as well.
Another win under our belt, chat. I think we're getting used to this game, even though we're playing it on the easiest possible difficulty. Chat. <laughs> Have we got any good coming out stories? That's actually a good a nice. Oh, nice. There is nothing more cute and adorable than hearing like a really feel good coming out story. That's true. It, they're, they're, they're just, they're always so nice and wholesome. <laughs> I don't know, mine felt kind of weird. That's oh, right. Go on, elaborate, elaborate. Hit us uh, with it. Well, I always thought I was cool. straight, and then um, I was we talking. We all do. I was talking to my friend, and I'm like, wow, I, uh, I think I'm gay. There you go. And that's how I found out I found out I was gay because I had a crush on my best friend. Okay. And it, uh, I don't know, it feels uncomfortable. They, they said it was fine, but it, I was kind of uncomfortable with the whole thing for a while. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, and then I look at penises on the internet and I'm like, wow, I'm kind of into this. <laughs> <laughs> you, go, you go online and you're just like, okay. These people have this like second opening in them. And I'm like, this, is, this, this, this isn't doing much for me. And then you're just like, oh, these people have like. A big pointy thing. I'm like, oh, this 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 looks quite delectable. I am into this. <laughs> relatable, relatable. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a good. I think it's a good. Uh, decent, decent beginning of a coming out story. But where's the actual coming out part? What do you mean? Well, you said you, 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 you said you were into your friend, and you said that you were into your friend to your friend. But was, was that it? No, yeah, that was kind of it. And wait, 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 where was the, like, the whole, like, doing it in front of, like, the family and the parents and, like, the people that are going to judge you the hardest? I'm not going to tell my family. They're going to judge me the hardest. Oh, <laughs> you haven't told them. So you haven't come out! Ha! <laughs> You're in the closet. Nah, 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 nah. If you saw my room, I... Uh, I would agree that I live in a closet. Hi, <laughs> Lemo. I'm only teasing. Don't worry, I've, I've spent like half a fucking century in the closet. And then again, like, my, <laughs> my coming out was like, I think I might not be quite as straight as I thought I once was. And my parents were like, that's alright. <laughs> Dude, I didn't hit him with like the direct like oh I'm certain like I like to like uh, you know get full Nelson and like choked I was like no 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 I, th I, I think I might possibly under certain circumstances not be quite as straight as I once thought I was and they were like oh that's alright we still love you I was like oh that's nice Dude, it's, it's fun let me bring my boyfriend around next week <laughs> <laughs> do, you know how, do you know how many times I've been told you're the straightest person I know? My God. Even once. Oh, yeah. That just means you've got top energy. Top oh. energy. Uh, I think Lowell's would disagree. <laughs> I disagree, too. I mean, takes on to no one, right? The world needs more bottoms. <laughs> bottoms make the world go around. Let's be honest. Big mood. In mine and Walter circles, there might be too many going around. Well, I've only got one say, to, like one thing to say to that. Uh, I think Lulz can vouch. The minute anyone shows the slightest sign of being a top, everyone in the server jumps on him. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't checked my DMs in the last 10 minutes, but uh, <laughs> let's check. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my Discord's muted. But hey, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. Boys, boys, are we, are we in or are we not in? <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> Be my guest, oh my god. 
I was kind of waiting for... I was kind of wondering when you were going to interact more in our server, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Ayo? 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 <laughs> Glorious. Sure. What are you making? We got bad sausage tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I always like a nice thing here, actually. It's always good. I think I was lucky because my parents are very uh, logic based individuals. So it doesn't matter what I hit them with or how aggressively I hit them with it. Or how late in life I hit them with it, they, they'd just be like, whatever. They would literally just be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know, growing like, up like, like, don't, don't care. You do what you want to do. It makes no difference to us. Lucky. Growing up in the church kind of warped my brain. I know they'd accept me, but it's just like a part of my brain that's like, oh, I'm... That's, that, that's the first half of my childhood. I've had, I've had a taste of the die-hard Catholics. <laughs> shit, shit. Thankfully, Catholics in the States aren't nearly as die-hard as what you describe. Thank God, but... Eh, it still depends on the person, I guess. It's mostly the Evangelicals I find that are pretty nasty up here, but I don't know. Well, in particular, the Pentecostals of the Evangelicals. That is so many syllables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of... Shh. I have, unfortunately, a personal history with the, with the Pentecostals because some Pentecostals married into my family, and for the first several years, um, they used to talk all the time about how glad they were that they married in because we were, by comparison, so much, 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 much nicer than their own family. Or Christians, I mean. Or at least I grew up Catholic, or Roman Catholic, at one point. So by comparison, I guess. Uh, one second, I need to save this person. If I can. Oh, shit, God damn it! get the fuck away. There we go, got them. I don't know, I, th I, th I think the discussion of uh, the, the finer nuances of religion... Is something that both uh, a lot of different groups of today's society. Epeg, you better well save everyone because goddammit. Groups as such as Twitch are very much against discussing. Yeah. Which, is, which saddens me because this shouldn't be a taboo topic to discuss. That's part of the reason why I have not even bothered to update the rules section of my Twitch channel, and also because, and also why our rules in the server itself are fairly relaxed, aside from the 18 plus rule. Um, I see, I understand where people are coming from with being so strict about what topics that can be discussed, but at the same time, I feel like it should just be, or at least for my streams, I want it to be on a case by case basis. There's no reason to jump down people's throats unless they're being intentionally. Disruptive or intentionally Intentional causing drama. Prejudice. Yeah. Of course. I have a few friends that are. This is a perfect example of this. I have a few friends that are, you know, uh, that are transgender. Mm -hmm. And they are often, when in public situations, especially with generations that are older than them, mm -hmm. if they are mislabeled, as the wrong, you know, the wrong pronoun, mm -hmm. they don't make a big fuss about it. They just yeah. don't. They they're, they're okay with it. They're like, okay, this guy is 66. He sees me as what I was born, and the, he mislabels me as the wrong pronoun, and that's cool, because to him, I am exactly that. And they don't start a big fight about it, and I think that is the coolest kind of person literally the coolest kind of person because they know who they are they don't need other people's validation to be always there 100 percent of the time and it's not that the older guy is calling them the wrong thing out of prejudice 
he calls them the wrong thing because to him it's not the wrong thing to him it's what he sees mm -hmm. and i think those are the coolest kind of people the, the people that start a big war about it and they start to be like like i'm a guy you can call I'm, I'm not this you have to call me that and they, they start this big freaking war about it honest like, fuck you shut your mouth just nobody wants to hear it this whole conflict it's Unless they do it in prejudice. Unless somebody like comes up to you and goes like, uh, "You're actually a she, not a he." What are you talking about? Like, like unless they try and intentionally start a fight, it's good to just smile and just be happy and just accept the differences between generations, accept the differences between individuals, and just be happy and smile. Pretty it's much. Individual. It's just a difference of upbringing, difference of opinion, difference between generations. And th they didn't have the option to do it. Who knows? This guy that's 66, maybe he is in the wrong body to begin with. But he never had the opportunity to discover it. Yeah. Because he never had the cards dealt in front of him that gave him the option to do so. And he's stuck. And he survived an entire lifetime being what he was without being given the option of escape. Mm hmm? Just because he mislabels you on something as stupid as a word, as a pronoun? Just smile and just be happy. Just be like, oh, okay. I think we need to get back and as a... Learn from them. I think we need to get back as a culture to considering intention behind stuff again, because it's getting... it's It's been ridiculous. That's the, absurd, isn't it? Yeah, it's to the point where it's actually kind of tiring. Like, there's some time, like, I've actually taken to, if I see people on social media now that seem like the kind of people that would be easily triggered by honest-to-God mistakes, and I do mean honest-to-God mistake, mistake, mistakes, I, it makes me just want to preemptively block them and not want to interact with them at all, because I don't want to take the risk, I don't want to take the risk that they would flip their shit for something dumb, and... I'm thinking back to how microaggressions used to be such a big thing at one point, like a few years ago, and being that I'm Asian myself and Filipinos suffer from this all the time where we're misconstrued for the more visible, quote-unquote, well, maybe not as much. Growing up, Filipinos were not as visible, as visible as the other kinds of Asians. Now we kind of are, so it's not as big of a problem now, but I didn't really get offended by microaggressions, but... More, as much as some people, just because after a while I kind of recognize that it's almost entirely out of ignorance. It's not like when people ask me, when people assume that I'm from a foreign country despite living here for 33 years now and not having an accent, I know they're not trying to be insulting. They just, they don't know any better. But I can understand people that do take offense, especially if they have grew up in areas where this was not the case and people just like to be pricks like i remember when i was in high school there was this one kid who i'm pretty sure was just being a fucking dumbass who was like who assumed who called me chinese and i was like i'm actually filipino and the first thing out of his mouth was what does that matter i'm like it matters a lot you dumbass but like i hope that's like i almost never run into people like that that's Quite obviously, the not the norm, right? So, what's the point in flipping my shit over everyone else? That's not even somebody counting the fact that I have somebody just using wrong language in prejudice, but like it's a word. I mean, it doesn't feel nice. Don't get me wrong, I've been called all sorts of weird words for growing up as well. Yeah. Jew, this, F, that, like the, the wonderful, the wonderful F word that we all try and avoid. Yeah. Oh my God, that, that was literally, that was literally one of my uh, nicknames in high school. And people used to say it in front of teachers and teachers used to do nothing about it. Growing up, I used to be called the R word all the time by my parents. Also, it's kind of funny that I was kind of jo both jokingly and also accusatorily called gay all the time growing up and called the Filipino word bakla, which is not as, not necessarily, depending on the context, is not necessarily as, as, 
as insulting as being called gay when I was younger. Well, not to but get confused with baklava, which is a delicious <laughs> dessert from the Middle East. Am right, yeah. Probably because being bakla in the Philippines had this really strange status back then. It it wasn't the same. It wasn't as insulting connotation wise as being called gay was in the states here until recently. It's kind of hard to explain. Translation for the word bakla into English. It literally is. Well, okay. I'm not gonna say it literally. I don't think it literally meant. Literal translation of bakla. I honestly don't know. Or at least colloquially, it's always meant gay to me. But okay. Then again, I know it must have a. It might have a different definition because my parents used to say bastos all the same to all the time, and that's colloquially used as the word for pervert when it actually means bold. Someone's being bold. So I'm kind of tempted to go look that up really quick right now. Actually, web browser. The book of knowledge. I found it. A person who is assigned male at birth and has adopted a feminine gender expression. They're often what? considered a third gender. They're exclusively attracted to men. No wonder it... Okay. No wonder... So that probably expl that probably explains why Bakla does not have nearly as strong a insulting connotation as the word gay is here in the States. Because Bakla is a cultural thing. Yes, yeah, so I, I guess a Bakla could be within... The understanding of uh, a bystander be also falling into the same sort of category as, say, something like a ladyboy. Probably, yeah. And I mean... Which would, again, very much be suitable to that sort of region of the world. Not to mention that... How do I describe this? Um, my parents described it as... They tolerate lady boys because they're a part of society. They're part of their fabric of their society, and it's not something that they're going to just try and eradicate. Especially since they've kind of been an important part of Filipino culture even before Christianity came over. And then my other Filipino friends have described it as, um, or at least one of my Filipino friends who unfortunately had the had the uh, kind of the really had kind of the uh, strict Filipino Catholic parents. He described it at he described how his parents treated Bakla people as oh, they have their place in society because we kind of Filipinos kind of have a class of society. So it's they were, like they were treated on the same level as slaves and prostitutes. Probably above slaves. That sounds horrible to say, but not on the same level as prostitutes. Slave, but within a society that has a class system in it. Yeah, they that they basically had a purpose, I guess. Yeah. And it's not something that un unreasonable to talk about, especially to address in 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 the sense that we are having here, which is a discussion. Yeah. We're not trying to represent any faction. We're not trying to, you know, advocate for any of those factions. We're just talking about it. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if in the Philippines there are even people that use that self-identify as bakla as a matter of pride or as a matter of reclamation. So, you know, it's nothing to like get upset over necessarily. Not like any of us are using them viciously or anything. Thank you for the hydrate redeem camo, you. Let me get a quick sip before we get to the next. That's the well, I, 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 I wanted you to come up with a very literal definition of bakla in translated into English because I have a word that was used during my childhood. Mm -hmm. Hey Caradrine. Game's going great. <laughs> Should I say Master's childhood? Uh, back in wonderful land of Poland. Mm -hmm. Which was extremely and I'm not gonna say I, they weren't even homophobic. They were Oh my fucking god it's a boss level beyond homophobic that it, the, the slightest even suggestion of the topic resulted in immediate death. Oh my god. So I don't even know if that's even regarded as homophobic. Like, you didn't even get to a point where you got to label it as something other than you're just, you're fucked. Like, you, you just, you, like, you, you died. You're dead. <laughs> it's like, hey, I think I'm kind of curious. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of fortunate that even here in the States, I did not grow up in an environment that was so violently homophobic. Or not 
It's just so violent. I mean, even Filipinos, I don't think, were nearly that treated homosexual people nearly that badly. Well, obviously but... they didn't. Look how many people go visit. Yep. The oh. Thank you for the hydrate uh, redeems, Yorikisha. Ladyboy party. <laughs> but no, the uh, ah, ow, ow. Was a word, and the <laughs> word was pedal. It was a literal translation into English with pedal, kind of like a pedal on a on a push bike. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Thank you for the three redeems. Mm -hmm. So a pedal or a pedal in English. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it just meant somebody that. Well, was uh, was ow, ow, ow. in the next sixty minutes. <laughs> it's horrible. I say I, I sounded really, I sounded really uh, mundane saying that, but that's I don't. That's horrible. Like it is horrible, but I'm also saying it in a maybe perhaps a slightly over exaggerated manner, because that's not what the definition of the word is. The word definition of the word is is a, a thing at the end of the shaft on a push bike, right? Oh my. Pedal. Oh, you mean like a an, a pedal pedal? Like a pedal, like an actual pedal on a push bike. Like, like a bicycle pedal, yeah. Yeah, that's literally what it means. So, but that was the slang that was used for somebody that was well, homosexual. And homosexuals did not get a chance. There was no ifs and buts. It was just like, as soon as you even made a suggestion that you may perhaps even be curious, you were just immediately off. God. Immediately. Within the hour, you would be taken into the forest. And depending on which individuals that you spilt these beans to would determine on what kind of fate you had. All of them would result in death, of course. But some people were more generous than others. Some of them would just shoot you in the back of the head. Some of them would hang you. Some of them would hang you upside down and skin you and then watch you bleed while you squeal for the next two hours in agonizing pain. Oh my god. The, the saddest level of the individual to whom you had the guts to admit that you may have had some level of curiosity. I wonder if Russia is like, was like that too at one point. Russia is renowned for being like that. I mean, like, all my, even my Russian friends. Homophobic states on the entire planet. And In fact, well known for that. It's weird because man walk down the street holding hands, they will be literally tackled and just beaten. Hell, do you don't even there need to do videos on YouTube of it. You they seem right to now. also just flat out make assumptions that someone is homosexual or leans that way and then they just attack without th it's it's really fucking weird. It's fucking it's so hostile it almost high sounds like exaggeration. And, and you end up grabbing. If you high five your friend and you end up grabbing and you hold for more than like a second and a half, you'll be beaten. That's so messed up, dude. Just like you held hands. You fucking dead. I mean... It depends where you are as well. Again, again, it, it's slightly over-exaggerated, but... It depends where you are. There are obviously going to be certain, you know, cities, villages, areas where people are just gonna be like, eh. Because, so, you know, but, but in general, it's not something you want to be doing. Like I like I wouldn't go to visit Russia and uh, walk down the street holding hands. Like it's just I I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it out of the safety for the both of us. It's just I wouldn't do it. That's it's so fucked to think about. It's not worth it to make the statement. You're better off just accept the fact that this culture doesn't like this, and just go about your day. Just stay away from them. Standing by side, just 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 go by their rules. It's better to avoid conflict. It is better to avoid conflict. And I think that that's a problem that a lot of social justice warriors have a problem with. They want to, like, make a stand. Who the fuck are you making a stand against? You're just getting beaten to a pulp. It's things like this that I think sometimes people take... I think people sometimes take for granted that we're even allowed to protest here in the state still. Although... Um, uh, what's, some would, some of the recent stuff, uh, I don't know. I used to be the kind of person that actually did these things too. Um, you know, the whole protest thing, but especially after what happened when COVID got really bad here in the States, 
the shit I saw happen to actual journalists on live television and just how fucked, it, how fucking crazy things got, it was... Oh my god. I can't believe we survived the past four years at all in this country. I don't know. Any did. country. Any country. Maybe the rapture did happen in 2020 and <laughs> this is just an alternate timeline. <laughs> It just, it, it just wasn't as deep as we thought it would be, and it, uh, it didn't kill us all. It just kind of shook things up. Yeah, the rapture couldn't happen, lols. You're still here. Oh. So, Caradrine, uh, Yaruki-chan, long time no see. Sorry that you guys walked into a very serious conversation. Um, I hope y'all are having... It shouldn't, <laughs> it shouldn't be a serious conversation, but okay. it is... By modern standards, it's serious, even though we're talking about it in a very nonchalant and a very, you know, mature manner. But... And that's the problem. I think that is the big problem. It shouldn't be a mature conversation. This should be just a general, you know, shit talk. Yeah. This should be small talk. This should just be like, hey, whatever. But it's not. It's not. And why, why isn't it? It's such as how the culture is today. Although, I must... We haven't discussed any heavy topics. These are all just like the most trivial, tiny little things that in, like, affect only like the most minuscule percentage of individuals on a very tiny little scale in their tiny little spaces of their own individual mind. On the, on the scale as a total, all of this, it's just, it's complete and utter BS. It's, 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 it's nothing. We are a needle in a haystack in this level of discussion, but for some reason there is a level of tension that evolves around this kind of discussion. Now, I will say that we... I will say that we're all kind of friends here, so it's not exactly like some stra or strangers just deciding to discuss it without knowing anything about each other, right? So... There's a, I would say there's a great deal of tension that would be present in a public, in among strangers that is clearly does not exist in our case. But then again, I guess if we weren't close to begin with, would this conversation would ever even come up to begin with? It I would, wouldn't. Yeah, it probably wouldn't. Tension <laughs> associated with it. But why does the tension exist in the first place? Well, you Good. see, you see, I have a deadline Friday, and I have to write an article. And so I have to just create a uh, conflict so I can write my article about the conflict I created. <laughs> well, wonderful, we're setting the whole mood for you right now, aren't we? Even though the point of discussion may be completely op opposed to whatever you're writing about, I, 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 I hope that you're at least getting into the correct mood, right? <laughs> um, a little bit stirred up, the, 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 the veins are raising up, you look at the back of your hand, you can see the three veins standing up, doing the big V. Yeah, I'm about to cancel lols. Oh no! Excellent, excellent. I can't Cancel believe I've, first, I've, 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 first. I finally made it a year, and I'm finally getting cancelled. Amazing. I haven't even written my first tweet longer. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I made it to a year too. Nobody noticed. <laughs> I've, I've been an embedded journalist for six years. Uh, it's like Minority Report. I knew you were <laughs> going to be problematic six years ago when I met you. But you know. Funny thing. Ah, uh, sure. What's up? No, no, you, you go first, sorry. Uh, I'm on the other side of the planet, so when I say something, you hear it a half a second later, so... No problem. Well, I was just wondering. I wonder if the fact that I'm openly a 4chan-esque uh, inspired VTuber, if that has somehow worked as, worked as a subconscious filter for the kind of people that watch my streams and interact with me on Twitch and Twitter. Because uh, sometimes when I did first start, you know, using this and decided that I'm going to go for this, I was a lot more on edge when I first started, which I guess is par for the course. But there's been some VTubers who have openly acknowledged, like, yeah, lols, we can't, we know that you come from 4chan or whatever, and they do it in a joking manner, and nothing, they don't really like take anything of it. There's one, except there's one VTuber that she knows that I'm. 4chan inspired and she's never questioned it or said anything about it but i could tell that the top just the very topic itself sometimes causes tension and i think she just kind of chooses to 
not worry about it in my case because she knows that I'm not like that. I'm not going to do any not going to do anything to her or get anyone in trouble. So I wonder if there are other people that I've noticed that have either that have either blocked me or have quietly, and I do mean quietly and respectfully cut ties and you know what that's their choice, but I always did wonder sometimes what was it that caused that? And maybe it's better if I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I guess I just... And I'm gonna knock on wood here. I guess I just expected my VTubing career to be a lot more tense and a lot more dangerous or a lot... I don't know, a lot more drama-filled. And I'm glad it hasn't. I'm glad that... I'm done, I mean. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say that might just be a product of the communities the two of us came from. I guess. I think you sometimes, I think we all sometimes look to the big, loud images that we see out in the open, and we try and cross-associate with them. And it dwarfs the expectation of what actually is reality. You have to remember, the, the, the most negative <laughs> things are always going to be the loudest. Ah, oh, it's very convenient. He threw me back towards the rest of the party. <laughs> but sorry, what were you saying, Vimboy, about expectations, I guess? Well, when you expect to have this terrible experience of seeing all this drama and all this uh, negativity, you're not going to get it because you're seeing the loudest components of the community. That's true. Which do not generally represent the whole. It's kind of like when you see negative reviews mm -hmm. on any product or any service. You're, you're only going to see the loudest one, two, three percent of things that just went wrong or people that just got ridiculously offended or were just left in a awkwardly bad situation and they're the loudest but they don't represent the community as a whole they only represent the worst thing that can happen that's very true so theoretically you're prepared for the worst thing that could ever possibly happen already but expecting it to actually happen to you is the equivalent of expecting to win the lottery mm -hmm. like don't get me wrong, I've sat here with my feet on the table, staring at the ceiling, fantasizing of what I'm going to do with that, you know, rank one uh, victory of uh, Lotto, of the $121 million, like what I'm going to do with it. Like, I, I sit here and stare at the sky for two hours and just plan for it. But that is the absolute extreme peak of what could happen so the loudest things that you see that could happen chances are it's never gonna happen to you. that's a very good point to someone else why would they happen to you someone else already took that honor of being the biggest uh piece of shit on twitter or being mm -hmm. the biggest piece of shit vtuber or doing the worst thing that they could possibly do as a vtuber somebody else already took that title it's not for you to have. When I think if about... You, if you pull every wrong card and you do everything wrong within your power, maybe you could end up approaching to being as bad as they were. But that's like the peak of how bad it could be if you really aim for it. Expecting it to go that bad um, out of its own will without you actually consciously and intentionally aiming for that, that's just not going to happen. Won't. You're gonna fall somewhere happily in the middle ground, and you know the middle ground. It's a, it's a pretty good place to be. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's always nice to be number one, number one worst, or mm -hmm. number one best. Either way, being in the spotlight is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool as a stand -buyer, being <laughs> in the spotlight as the actual individual who's in the spotlight. 
Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know what it was like to be in shock the other day, a couple of weeks ago? You only had a very brief window of what it's like to enter to be in shock. Now, imagine being in that state for three, four, ten, fourteen days at a time. Mm-hmm. 24-7, non-stop. You don't get to sleep, you don't get to eat, you don't get to do anything. Mm-hmm. You don't even get to freaking go and pee. You just are in this permanent state of quaking, numbness, shock, where you can't even focus on a single thing. You just panic. Mm-hmm. That's what it's like to be in the spotlight, whether it be for a good thing or for a bad thing. You really want to be in that place? No. Because, I mean, sure, if you endure that bullshit, at the end of it, your bank account number might go up by a figure or two. Sure, why not? But are you willing to put that level of just exposure? And I mean exposure not in the sense of being seen, but exposure in the sense of being put under that level pressure. Do you want to be stuck in shock for like a week and a half straight just to make an extra figure? No. Is it, is, is, is it worth it? Does it pay off? Does it pay off to die seven years younger because the amount of shock and stress that you have undergone for this particular week and a half? It might be. Mm-hmm. It, it, it might be. It depends on you as an individual. Are you willing to undergo that level of shock and stress just to make an extra number? Well, Lulz would say yes, but that's because he's a born clout chaser. No, he would say yes because he's a bottom and he likes to get punished. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes, maybe. I'm going to get slapped so hard later. <laughs> <laughs> You a lot more and slap you but <clears throat> i'm gonna get the taser aren't i i wish you get the taser <clears throat> uh i wish i hate being electrocuted that is the one thing i freaking hate i would rather you sound me than freaking get electrocuted uh i mean it, 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 excuse me what <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah mm. i don't know if i told I think I have told Seal this already. Um, it's kind of funny how my last relationship actually really brought out the Dom in me. Something I totally did not expect. Ayo. I guess some people just bring that bring certain things down, people, right? I mean, you know uh, what it was? It comes with age. It's your turn to switch roles. It's your turn to dominate. <laughs> Without saying too much, I'm going to tease the chat a little. You did more than tell me. Ayo? No comments. Perfect, perfect silence. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, the imagination is running wild right now. No, oh. I refuse to. So I refuse to comment. Ah, love it. I should. Ah. Just makes it oh my god! I've been slimed once more. Slimed. I'm waiting for it to slime. There it goes. Oh my god, it's green. Why is it green? Why didn't you make it white? Uh, I don't know. Just kept it default. Why didn't I mean, you make it white and make it do like a weird I mean, sound I'm when it happens? Ready, pretty white when it get hydrated. So I figured. White. White. Very white. I'll tell you what. This this this, this, this model is not optimized, and I don't quiet quiet it. Also, I, I want to add dynamics to your little uh, necktie. Oh. Shaky it tie. Jiggles. It, it needs to jiggle. <laughs> it, it needs to wiggle jiggle. Also, I, I'm going to wait until you figure out the point at which we're going to make an iteration of your model that adds butt physics. I'm going to wait until you test and just get exactly pi pinpoint the exact model iteration at which it was applied. Because it's coming. But I'm not going to say when. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a secret. And it's going to be a reading. <laughs> the jiggle. The jiggle wiggle. I don't think it shows up in the cyberpunk lols because I decided I put pants on that one as opposed to the tights. But I do have... I did purchase some uh, cyber tights 
from Booth Bingo. and we're going full gay. I mean rainbow. This is the game mode. Uh, on my on my thing it's called going full gay. <laughs> I haven't been banned for it either, so we're like hey yo. Really sure Twitch doesn't care about this sort of thing. I mean I named the gamer pride in this one. Well I was more pride is okay. I'm more surprised that they My didn't. Radium is literally called going full gay. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they can even ban it's the that. Same thing. It's literally the same redeem. It's just reworded. Not sure if they could ban that, anyway. Because what's offensive about going full gay? Oh wait, that's I know, right. I, I know. It's not offensive to be gay. Things offensive these days that are not even offensive. They're just they're fucking arbitrary as shit. It, honestly. It's all weird. Yeah. I wonder if I'm supposed to sell the old guns or what. It doesn't say that they... Oh, there, there, there was somebody banned the other day. On... It wasn't Twitch, actually. It was Overwatch. Oh, okay. gee. Somebody get banned on Overwatch. Uh, this, this is like three days ago. Very recent. Just happened. They were banned for two weeks. 14 days. Unable what did... to play the game. What did they do? Their name... Their name was... You're stinky. Really? Listen, that's, hate, that's hate speech. You, they just go around calling you, people stinky. You are... Letters, you are stinky. So you're stinky. That was that was their name. They got banned for 14 days for it. Why? What a stupid reason to ban anyone. And I know Blizzard has banned people for really dumbass reasons before, but that's just strange. Don't get me wrong, I've been banned by Blizzard before. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna try and pretend, but like I've been banned by Blizzard by for some stupid shit before. I don't even remember where it was. I just remember it was stupid. But that's that's how stupid it was. That I don't even remember how stupid it was. It's just like I, I've gotten banned before, <laughs> just for, for for doing nothing like genuinely nothing wrong. Just just, just banned because well, fuck you. Just fuck you. <laughs> yeah, just 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 fuck you. Like oh, you've played the game for. 16 years, oh, you've given us, like, what, $8,000 in your shop purchases? Oh, not a problem. You you have 12 active accounts? Not a problem. Yeah, you have a 14-day ban. Why? Fuck you, that's why. Clearly, they don't want your money anymore. You know, you don't deserve an explanation. Okay, sure. Like, the GM that handed me out the, the, the you know, actual ban, I've spent more on the game than what they pay him in 10 months. <laughs> but I don't deserve the 24 seconds that it takes to type out the reason why I got banned. Like, like, can you please clarify to me why I got banned? Like, I just want to know why I got banned so I can read about it while I go and play a different game. Like, I'm going to go play Dota 2 while I read your email in the queue. Explain to me, like, what happened. It's like, oh, okay, cool. I did this. All right, fair enough. But you're not going to give me an opportunity to even learn what, what I did wrong. You're just going to leave me in the dark so that I can do it again and again and again and again and just keep getting banned. You're not going to teach me. You're not going to help me out. You're not going to do anything right. You'll just give me a ban and say bad luck. It's just punitive for punitive's sake. Yep. More or less. It's just because the GM that decided to ban me was having a bad day. And falls into some really niche subcategory of a subcategory of a subcategory of a subcategory that finds some absolutely normal thing offensive. And now I, I'm not allowed to say yes or something. Like something dumb like that. We're like, oh, you said yes uh, three times within 60 seconds. That's a, that's a, that's a microaggression. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, it's some dumb stuff like that, you know? Shit. I don't know how the level scaling works in this game, but I just moved the difficulty level up one. And it is definitely way too hard for a level six character. Holy shit. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe this is... Maybe it's just like... Uh, level 1 difficulty was really baby mode, and level 2 difficulty is normal mode or something. Maybe you should get more heads. 
Maybe I should hit more heads. That's a good point. Does it not give uh, recommended levels? It didn't seem to, or if it did, I didn't notice. I, I think that's a big problem. Because Vermin, like... Vermintide would tell you what level your character should be. Yeah. It might just be because this game is still brand new and they haven't had the chance to give it the shit Vermintide does. Just click more heads. I mean, you could, you guys could tell, right, from watching the gameplay that there's an obvious, severe difference in difficulty from the first bar to the I second bar. Seeing you mow people down. Sure, after I got down twice. You know, that's like a good point. They're not, they're not just oh my fucking god, I've never seen this before. This is the thing, unless I see you dead, like, 80% of the time, I think you're doing okay. Alright. I'll take your word for it, I guess. Like, 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 it, it, it's a game. It's got to challenge you. You got to sweat a little. That's true. I think the expectation is that the game should be too easy. I do appreciate that. You got to, you got, you got to, you got, you got to sweat. I do appreciate that this game doesn't seem to be one of those herder. We're going to make it really easy, but also water down type stuffs. It looks like you do have to at least try. Yeah. Look at the graphics on this. That's beautiful. Disgusting, but beautiful. By default, should be achievable. But ah! should certainly make you like work. Like you, you should focus on the screen. You should sit up straight, and you should like <laughs> make your shoulder hurt. Mhm. Mm if it's not like that, well, put it on easy. Yeah, bloody boomer. I think it's also. The other enemy types must probably appear in later game stages because I just noticed that I've not fought any mutant ogrins with shields and uh, sh shields and maces yet. I've seen the trailers. He cleansed of sin. Yeah, I, I think in terms of um, scaling difficulty, I think still. Game developers, a lot of the time, don't understand what is a fun hard and what is an unfun hard. Like, uh, fucking Dark Souls 2. I know Sterling defends Dark Souls 2 to the end of time, but there's just so much bullshit in that game. That's not fun bullshit. He's kind of a masochist, isn't he? Um, yeah, but, like, I'm a masochist, and I like, uh, oh, I don't like, I don't like <laughs> Dark Souls 2. Fair enough. I'm also kind of a masochist myself, but um, the only dark, the only Dark Souls game that I've really played, Dark Soulish game, closest thing would be Dragon's Donger, I guess. And people tell me that's not a Dark Soulish game. Or like, um, I guess like another one that I'm playing right now is Neo Two versus Neo. What's that? First, Neo, the uh, the samurai game by Team Ninja. Oh, that game, that game. The first the game was like, ever. The first game was so janky and had so many just difficulty spikes. And it was really unfun to play, but I am loving the shit out of Neo 2. <laughs> so, uh, is this the best night ever? It is a pretty good uh, night, honestly. Am I genuinely surrounded by bodies? <laughs> Why don't we make a group DM and you can find out? Hey, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bot, I'm a brown lulz, but uh, it kind of depends on the person. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, that works, huh? PS2 was my first, says Camoyu. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'll retract my statement. Uh, Scholar of the First Sin is really bullshit. Base game Dark Souls 2 is a little better. Because Scholar of the First Sin, they just added, like, Triple the enemy spawns. What about Elden Ringu? Elden Ringu. <laughs> I played it for an hour. I think I got a bad uh, first impression of the game. Because um, I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I never found the lady that let me level up. Oh, that lady. I never found the lady that let me level up. <laughs> and I touched a treasure chest that teleported me to an endgame dungeon. That happens? It was like right outside the starting area. What the fuck? That, that is cool though, I like that. I mean, it wasn't fun. 
I just got teleported to the middle ah! of a dungeon. I couldn't leave, and all the enemies one shot me. That's sick. That's wicked sick. I love it. But I know people love that game, so... Steam wants me to buy it, because I've been looking at the Steam sale, and it's been on every sale page for every genre, and it's not even on sale. Fucking shit. You know what? I think I'm starting to understand. It looks like the difficulty scaling increases the number of objective things you have to do, increases the number of enemies, and increases the variety of enemies. I don't know if it affects their health and damage or whatever. It sure seems like it, because... So I don't remember... Ayo? 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 Like, what the fuck is that thing? I'm pretty sure... Oh my god, I refuse to die here. I never knew variety made it more difficult. I don't know, but this game is actually kind of cathartic right now. I feel like maybe I need to play more games where you just mindlessly kill stuff. Yamnasai yeah, favors us. I have like a thousand hours in payday God damn it. Thank you, buddies. Yes, oh shit. Bitch ass motherfuckers. Yeah, this is basically a Berserker class. I'm supposed to be constantly attacking the shit out of people so I can heal. Okay, I understand now. This is a weird example, but one of my favorite examples of difficulty and expanding your gameplay options is uh, Devil May Cry 5. A lot of people hate playing as Dante because he has literally like 12 weapons you have to keep track of. But <laughs> I love I love playing as Dante. He's so much fun. Hey, Dante. No, I used to, back in the day, I used to play with this uh, shaman in a World of Warcraft. He was a world rank one shaman, and he used to use no add-ons to play the good old World of Warcraft. And he used to crack every single cooldown of every single player in the battle off his own cooldown. Hmm. That means that whatever first cooldown that he <laughs> had in this queue, he used to use as a metronome for counting the cooldown of every other player that was on the field at the time, which was generally a total of six, including himself. And he possessed that ability to immaculate, and he's proven it many times, because a lot of people challenged that theory. They were like, there's no way. <laughs> and, and a lot of people challenged that theory, and it's, he proved it many times. He had the capability of tracking every single ability cooldown on every single player out of the six players, including himself. Guy sounds wild. On a metronome beat. <laughs> so no add-ons, no other bullshit, no knowing. He would just know. He would hear or see the ability being used by a player, and then he would just be like, yep, okay, that's 19 seconds. 18, 17, 16. And he would do that... For 20, 30, 40 different abilities at a time. And it would keep an immaculate track of every one of them counting down. MOU says, I think it's fun, but I'm not sure who, whom or what they're referring to. Uh, 
I think either Dark Souls 2 or Elden Ring. Maybe both. Dark Souls 2. Uh, I, think it's, I think he's saying it's fun to uh, do something really rude with lols like hold him. <laughs> you need only ask and shall receive. Oh hey, we haven't even done that yet. I want you to intertwine <laughs> your fingers with mine. Okay, now it's getting kinda hot. Oh shit! Left hand to left hand, breathe out as your grip tightens. I can I can turn myself up unless Lulz wants to turn back this up. Your friends are kind of low. Um, you guys might want to turn yourselves up. So I'm fairly sure I have everyone. At, well, I can check really quick when I find a pausing point here. Or better yet, I can just increase the. All right, try talking now. Hey yo. Hello, welcome to uh, Cookie Bar. All right, that should have increased the level. Can I, can I, can I tempt you with a little bit of gallon gal? I increased the uh, levels in OBS. Is that any better, Cow? Motherfucker, I'm dying again. What lol? Your stream of vocals are always very good. It's a bit better. Okay, might just be because. I'm All right. Try increasing y'all's volume, see what happens, I guess. Ah, oh, fucking shit. God damn it. Yo. Yo. Uh, shit, how do I turn myself up on Discord? How do you turn yourself up? And guess what? You don't. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You know, the funny thing is that the technical definition of what you just said is uh, basically everybody. Unless you're a tube baby. Are you a true baby? Uh, I can't confirm it like that. Fair enough. I mean, well, the rest of us are. I mean, sounds bitchy. Who the fuck is. Oh, they're behind us now. That's just beautiful. Also, DMC. I'm making my way through all DMC games in order. Are oh, you finished mm -hmm. two? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, three is really good, though. You're gonna love three. I always like three at a time. It's a good thing. I really don't no, like I'm how you have to you push G to select a grenade and then you throw it instead of just G throwing the grenade. Not my particularly is favorite a, game mechanic. Wait, is there a gotta, gameplay setting to make it quick cut? What system are you playing on, Muyo? Because it should just be on the, the digital store. Ah! What is DMC for? Oh, okay. You Devil don't make cry. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Follow me. Follow me. That makes sense. I do not like digital games. Oh my god, you don't like digital games? All, all Devil May Cry games are digital. Yeah, but uh, Tranimo. I, I hate to break it to you. They're all digital. If they're on a compact disc, they're digital. Unless they come on an analog fucking tape. I have a digital. I have a box of floppy disks over here when I want to play Devil May Cry One. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. I mean, if if it's magnetic storage, it has a fifty-fifty chance of being either digital or analog. Floppy disk, unfortunately, digital. It's digital format on an analog media, but a good try. Good try anyway. Right, I've proven Calm I down, Q, 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 WQ. You made the cow cry. You'll have to apologize now. Beef doesn't down, taste. Nerd. <laughs> Calm down, you bloody nerd. Okay, so what yeah, if I, I say? Okay, so what if I say I prefer having the disc in box? Oh. I think that's cool, but don't let people borrow it because I made that mistake mm -hmm. too many times. You know, careful up with my disc in your ball. Uh, do it, Uwu. Don't worry, Cow. I also like it, having the physical box stuff when possible. Especially in Kickstarters. Oh, my fuck. We are being fucked. What in the hey, world Uwu? is that? You're not what? making much noise for somebody who's uh, enduring such an experience. Hmm. I'm doing my best. I am a brat after all, I'm supposed have to a, draw uh, things out. I have a 
Fall Collector's Edition World of Warcraft uh, collection of every single expansion thus far. Very nice. If anybody would like to uh, purchase this wonderfully unboxed series that's been stored in a oxygen controlled environment, aka being vacuum sealed for the last two decades, please contact me. I am accepting any offers, five figures and up. <laughs> Like collecting physical games, he's or they say that makes sense. So do I. I like physical media, but then you get into bullshit. Like uh, I bought the Evil Dead collection. Didn't come with Army of Darkness. Uh, because of fucking copyright shit. That's kind. That is kind of bullshit. Media. Not gonna lie. But the problem with physical media is that you have to learn how to maintain it. You try collecting physical media for something like Nintendo. Next thing you know, you have to go through a three-month course on how to micro-solder things because every time that the fucking CMOS battery on your cartridge gives out, every 12 to fucking 17 years, you gotta open the goddamn thing and you have to re-solder it. Oh my goodness. Not only do you need $600 worth of equipment to do so, you need the steady hand and the microscope to do it as well. Good times. Let the good it's times really roll. It's, it's, a, it's a fun skill, but it comes at an expense. It's not cheap to be a nerd. There's a reason why oh, nerds man. don't have girlfriends. You, you, we, we, we can't afford them. So we spend all our money on learning how to solder in freaking hot air stations. Something tells me I should run. I should not try to hold this indefensible position. There we go. Indefensible. Oh, what a mighty word. I'll show you something else right. that's mighty. Right at any time. Are you I actually don't know what our objective is right now. Oh, raid what, the ammunition what, what, shipment. What else is mighty? Come on, Lars. You, 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 you teased? What is it? Oh, are you fucking that? kidding me? Do we have to go over there and deliver the shit? Are you fucking... Oh my god, yes. Yes, that's exactly what we have to do. Change of oh, you what? Whatever he's got that's mighty is also uh, indefensible. The mighty you indefensible. You cannot defend against it. Extra wide, breathable fanboy hits. We all knew it. We knew it was coming. You guys thought it was something like generic, like PP. No, no, no. It's the mighty fanboy hits. Is this game gonna fucking stop with the oh shit? Confirmed as the next change of topic immediately arrives. <laughs> uh, oh no, I wasn't referring to y'all. I was talking about the game constantly sending boomers after us. I'm just gonna use Left 4 Dead lingo because that's easiest for me. Yo. Yo. Left 4 Dead lingo is cool. There really was a fucking mission of Left 4 Dead where you have to get a guy cola. You have to get a guy yes. a box of cola. He for wanted a six door. pack of coke. Mm -hmm. And then he was upset when you delivered it because it's room temperature. Oh my and god. Like, no, no man left behind. Even remember that. That's one of the many mods I have. Is what changing. even is cola? Cola is burned sugar in cola carbonated water. It's the most like simplistic, pathetic recipe on this planet. Just like get cola over it. Cola refers to the taste of the cola plant. There's no cola in cola. There's not anymore, but there used to be. Coca-Cola used that, to be that, spelled. That, that's another one of those bullshit fucking stories, kind of like how it used to be spelled is cola, K-O-L-A, and it tasted like cola. He also used to have co little bits of cocaine in them too, if I recall correctly. That was well, years ago. Oh, Coca-Cola. Yeah, hence the name Coca-Cola. And it was a medicinal drink. Most sodas actually began lives as stomach ache or stomach ache drinks. In fact, I think, Dr. yeah, Pepper. Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, all that shit. Oh, no, no. Pepper is actually one of the oldest ones of the whole lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's incredible how many lawsuits Dr. Pepper has been through because yeah. of how old it is and how many people tried to clone it. Mm-hmm. 
You know what's funny? It's like every time I'm at the supermarket, I am so tempted to buy a can of Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. It's I... in the international section. It is, it, it, it's kind of rubbish, let's be honest. It's expensive as all fuck, and I'm always just like, I want to get it just for the lols. Like, just, just for okay. the memes. I, I hate Diet Dr. Pepper, but now that they have the zero sugar line, the Dr. Pepper zero sugar is like one of the best sodas right now. See, all, all, all those fancy like side branches of Dr. Pepper. That's... Those are those are USA exclusives. Nobody else in the world sees that. Yeah, we, we had to invent 30 different types of Dr. Pepper so we wouldn't feel bad about poisoning ourselves. <laughs> exactly. No, the, the, the rest of the world, we only get the, the, the OG one. Fuck. And it's in the in international import section, man. It's like $4 a can. And a can of Dr. Pepper is like, it, it, it's, it's tiny. It's the smallest can you can imagine. It's like this tiny, tiny little thing. It's very cute. Oh, that's not like, a good it, noise. It, it's more expensive than like Red Bull, which is already like eight times more expensive than fuel. God damn it. Well, at least he threw me towards my party. Are you, Are you getting boomed? Let's go, gang. We gotta get going. Are you getting boomed? Yes. Getting boomed? What is? Getting boomed is uh, what it means to have a successful date. Mm -hmm. I know. I would say this tonight's a successful three-way, wouldn't you? With a boomer. Shaping up to be one. Hey yo! What is it? Is, is this one of those like uh, three-way on two bottoms, like where I have to pop like seven pills? Very bold of you to assume that you are not one of the bottoms. Bruh. I'm longer than your forearm. What you fucking talking about, boy? <laughs> boy! <laughs> You know what my my comeback these days is that uh, success sandwich yes like, camo you <laughs> no no my, my comeback these days is just uh, it's like oh you want to call me a bottom I'm I'm a part, holy I'm fuck a cow's out here just spitting I only see three bottoms oh my <laughs> fucking god <laughs> oh my god cow we're seeing a oh, side yeah. of cow that I've never seen before we and oh, cow is yeah. one cow is one of the uh, YouTubers who watches shitty movies with me and uh, Headhunter every right. end of month. Actually, I just realized something. Cal, are, is is the Mystery Science Theater tonight? Or is that next week? I honestly forgot. Bruh. It's not bottom, it's power bottom. Thank you very much. Oh, sweet sound of mine. I fucking... That's a, that's a rare a assault rifle. Difference. It's this week, How cope. about, um... Oh my god, are you gonna take that, then, boy? He's saying that we should cope. Cope with what? Copium. I'll show you copium. Copium makes me kind of... kind of solid. I guess it's time to try out this gun and see what a auto gun's like. Press enemies with 5 min radius and close range kill. Oh, that's cool. And it does plus right. 10 damage Inject against trash. copium. As long as I'm injected, I'm, uh, I guess I'm satisfied. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I'm bottom? God fucking damn it! You bet. It is just rare that I can drop by here because of time zones. Imagine time zones. Imagine being a time. Imagine existing. I will admit that part. Imagine of... conforming to time. Now I will we say. Sleep in the day, we game in the night. Part of the reason I'm still up is because it's a holiday, but yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, I got a bitchin' suit of uh, top armor, uh, bitchin' top armor now. It is 8 p.m. Well, that's also because I keep you up all night every time we hang out, lols. True. Yeah. It's 4 in the morning our time, my time right now. 4 in the morning? Yeah, it's legit 4.19 right now. 4.20 plays it. It is 8.19 at night tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I exist in the future. 
Can we watch movies? So if you so ever want to know the lottery results, you know, you can hit me up. But you got to sign, you know, you got to sign a contract. I got to get at least half of it. Waiting for lunch. Waiting for lunch. Imagine being so privileged as to be able to eat lunch. Bro, I haven't eaten lunch in like three years. What do you eat? Wink, wink, I nudge, eat nudge. I don't eat breakfast. I have a bit of dick in the afternoon, and then I uh, have a big meal of dinner in the late afternoon. I mean, what? I wonder if I can stay awake for alert, new war zone okay. conditions what? in 219. I'm wondering if I could stay awake long enough to play one more game. It's wonder what these weird triangle things add to you. Oh, Endless Horde. So this pays a lot, but it's just really hard. Alright, Lolzy. 48 hour stream. When is it? No idea. You gotta, you gotta beat me. If I can do 36 hours, you gotta be able to do 48. I did manage to pull off 12, so 36 should be possible, 12? right? Yeah. And we you know, do plan I, I, on beating you, fanboy. You know what's funny? Is I say that 36 is probably just as easy, if not easier, than 24. Because, like, if you start first thing in the morning... Lots of fun. If you did 24, you would finish first thing in the morning, and then you've got the whole day to fuck around before you get to go to sleep. I'd love to spend a whole day up, fucking... Right? Or that. That's true. Yeah, just do a day and a half, which is 36 hours. Putting the sub in the subathon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Speak the truth, Cap. Yeah, yeah, do, do, do a forty-eight. Do a forty-eight. Come on, you can, you can do it. You can do it. We'll see. I'll join you for. Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, thank, thank you for gifting a sub to Cap. Do you want sub? Let's go twelve. Twelve gifts and subs. Get off my god, Scarlet! Oh my god. Assault him with the bananas I'm and being, thongs. I'm being assaulted in all directions. Bananas, thongs, and squeaky toys. Rubber ducking. And beach ball. Wait. Well, you, you, in certain parts of the world, you might call them flip flops. We call them thongs, and I will stick with that. Because it makes people go, huh? See, oh wait, Cal, are you. What language is that? Is that Finnish? No, it can't be. I've never seen it. Or oh, uh, that script before. That's that funny writing the Witcher is written in. Oh, Hungarian. Uh, is, is, is that Hungarian? It is Hungarian. Ah! You're Hungarian? For some reason, I thought you were something else. I think you're also part Filipino too, right? Okay. We call it Hungarian. Hungarian. We call it Filipino. Have we found the ultimate yes, no. mix? <laughs> oh, you're friends with a lot of Panois, but you're not Filipino yourself. So, so I, at first I was oh. like, oh, Cow's another Filipino like myself, another Filipino VTuber, but... Imagine being Hungarian and Filipino. That means you love sausage ah! and beer. That sounds and very you're also short and hairless. That sounds very <laughs> Filipino to begin with. You're 100% Hungarian. Oh, I see. Uh, there are not many Hungarians, so that's kind of cool. He's, he's, he's kind of hungry. I've I want, got a, hungry for what, I wonder? I've got a little Filipino in me, mm -hmm. but I'm hoping to invite Lulz over and get a big Filipino in me. Wow. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Wow. Got him. Oh. Oh, oh wow, Lolzy, you 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 gotta you gotta oblige. Come on, come on. <laughs> you gotta slap that thing on the table for them. That was amazing. That <laughs> was ten out of ten. That was ten out of ten. That was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna disconnect now and leave because like that was <laughs> just moist. Like you guys should go at it. I'm gonna stand by and watch. And there he goes. Oh.
This game is actually really fucking fun. What the fuck? Alright, has anyone slimed yet? Uh, not yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Holy shit, the auto gun is sex. Just pure sex. I love. Oh shit, I, I'm being sexed. I was literally six point away. I'm being raw dogs. Thank you for the slime. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm being raw dogs. Thank you for the slime. <laughs> <laughs> I, you may have finally figured out what uh, being slimed means in uh, good old Australian. <laughs> Please do tell. Well, it means you get banned on Twitch. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, it's very delicious though. <laughs> you can taste it with either of your lips. <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that I should be using my special more often because it gives you back half of your shield. Hey yo. Since this is basically like Duke Nukem where your shield is a measure of your toughness and your toughness is basically your ego, your fighting spirit. In this game. Got my ego. Is that an Evangelion what? reference? Perhaps. Dude, are you, are Me you on Genesis, Evangelion. Am I what? You can't just be stroking your ego on stream like that. How do you know I'm not stroking something else? Oh wait, I need both hands to play this game. Shinji can fuck off, but oh my god, how cool is Ray? Ray is the coolest anime character ever. He's my second favorite anime character of all time. Mm -hmm. She's so absurdly fucking cool, it's not even funny. Agreed. Right, I am now. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, that's he's on our side, my bad. <laughs> Good thing there's no friendly fire in this game, to so my I, knowledge. I, agreed, that means that you think Ray is the second coolest anime character of all time, so what is the coolest? I mean, my favorite anime character is probably going to be Kamina from Gurren Lagann, so... Gurren Lagann. Uh, Homer Simpson. No. Homer Simpson! That is a <laughs> fine choice. That's, that's certainly a choice. I'm not even, like, I am genuinely, like, impressed. Because Homer Simpson is a cool choice. I'm so frustrated with how they treat the characters in the new seasons of The Simpsons there. Family Guy is my favorite anime. I keep mm. making the mistake you know of fair? watching new Simpsons episodes. I, I don't think I've seen a new Simpsons episode in at least the last 10 years, but prior to that I've seen every single one. Oh my fucking god, look at all this blood and gore. I didn't even know they made new ones in the last 10 years. So the, uh, yeah. the new tree has a horror is fine because they do the Death Note parody. The doors are literally closing on the bodies and splitting them in half and spraying blood everywhere. Sorry, what were you saying about Death Note? The Simpsons Death Note. Family Guy is my favorite anime. <laughs> you have a new incoming friend request. A yawn? Do I smell a bottom? Broken? Okay, yeah, fa Family Guy is pretty cool as well. I, I, I really like Family Guy. American Dad, uh, probably not as much. Family Guy, definitely though. I love when fa one of my favorite things in Family Guy is when they get like uh, knocked down and they fall down with the arm like half folded across their back. That is the most funny thing to me. Same. Oh, what in the fresh hell is that? With the arm a, behind a, the back. Like. A plague, Ogren. <laughs> I love that. So well. Hey, yo. Oh man, we are getting butt fucked. I can know I keep saying that in this game, but I think it's for real. No shit! What the fuck was that? Did I get? Well, no way. Oh, thank goodness. It glitched me through a canister thing, but they're still able to pick me up anyway. Well, we won. Good job, team. Well done, well done.
Connect. <laughs> She's still chopping it up. Oh, hey. You can actually still... Is that an ETV? It is. See, I'm hot garbage at this game, but it's really fun. I could see myself playing this more in the future. I don't know why, but it's less tedious than Vermintide, which is weird, but... You mean you, mean, you, you mean you're gonna play more than one session of this $60 game? I think mm -hmm. I can. It's enjoyable enough as it is. I still think 60 bucks is kind of a bit much for it, but who knows? Maybe it'll go and sell on Christmas or some shit like that. What kind of well, it's video... Black Friday, so... and it's still not on sale. What kind of video game is this? I have not seen a single 30-minute cutscene, just all the dumb button-pressing parts. I'll tell you what kind of video game this is. It's not. It's a computer game. <laughs> And I'm going to uh, Hold my go position. out on a bit of a dangerous path here, but I have a funny feeling that you may, in fact, be too young to even know what the fuck a video game is. Family Guy Death Post is called. I want to draw it. Funnily enough, <laughs> I am That's... old enough to be your fucking father, and I don't know what a video game is. Wait, then boy, who are you talking to right now? I don't even know. Oh my know. goodness. What is oh. the genre called? The fucking uh, night trap. The what? No oh, shit! Ah! 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 FMV game, full motion video game. Oh, ancient. Uh, all the all the gameplay in night trap is uh, real actors walking around on a stage that they pre-recorded. Yeah. And it an eerie. Are you feeling okay, Lolzy? You're just swinging that freaking short blade like a lunatic and just I, cutting everyone in half. I honestly don't know what's happening right now, so I was a bit confused for a second. I'm, all I'm seeing is just everybody getting absolutely effed up by you running through with this tiny little blade. Ah, it sounds like, like you, I'm playing you, the game you look properly like you've then. You've got a potato peeler and you're just ruining people with it. Yep, that's the that's the intention. Liru has now gifted you a tier 1 subscription one month to Ashton Noel. Who the fuck is Ashton Noel? <laughs> I love getting uh, random subs gifted to me to people I have never heard about. Grenade out! I love Twitch. <laughs> Same. <laughs> just, just got, I just got a gifted sub to somebody I have never heard of. Okay, oh, sure. At a... Every time we raid someone, I give them 69 bits, and so I just keep getting gift subs because I'm randomly picked out of a pot because I gave bits. This is such a long level. Holy shit. Or maybe it's just because the difficulty increased and we're missing one of... Oh, okay. Oh god, you're in the elevator with one person outside. Oh no, there they are. They teleport. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's nice, that's nice of the game to just pull him in. Mm -hmm. The big guy with the uh, with the door frame and the stolen stop sign as a club is uh, is nice. Yeah. He looks so dopey. You know. Nice, nice, nice tracking by the way. Dumping sixty bucks in this game doesn't feel doesn't hurt as much having played it and enjoyed myself. I'm, I think Fat Shark. As a winner here, as far as game, as far as games go, I think we should just assume that this is the uh, this is what Lols is actually doing, and they're, they're just crying and wiping their tears away if they sleep. He really doesn't like violence, uh, so he has to play the game with his eyes closed. Yeah, he has to this. So just that little cute, innocent. I yeah, I take being say so very seriously, as you can tell. <laughs> ah! We both know why you're really only. We both know why you say so. You just like getting people to correct you. Say so because he's already pregnant. Wait, what the fuck? Anymore. Oh, these are the optional objectives ah! that give you more money if you get them. Okay. Hey, you more money? You doing yeah. this for money? I don't think it's gonna let me carry anything else anymore because I picked this shit up. So I hope it's worth the wait. Worth the wait. 
You're just doing this for money and not yeah. further the glory of the God Emperor? Yeah, oh, I, um, um, uh, but of course, uh, my, my devotion is assured. Cool. Your devotion is assured. Like a holo statue? What the fuck are. is that? Oh my, this just screams boss, boss level. Are you trying to upskirt him? Perhaps. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. For fuck's sake, can you guys fuck off? How much damage are you doing? You are just like popping people into... Like, oh, it, it looks shit. like you're shooting a slingshot at a fucking creme brulee. It just goes everywhere. Glorious. I'm not even using a shotgun. I'm using a auto an auto you're gun. Using a fucking SMG and it, they just splattering everywhere. I'm about to be splattered if they don't pick me up soon, which I don't Ayo? think they're going to do. Ayo? 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 Uh, I'm I'm dead. Rip. Actually, I think I respawn uh, in the next section if they manage to survive this, but it's pretty nasty. They're getting gangbanged left and right. Oh, never mind. They succeeded. And just like in Left 4 Dead, they basically have to rescue me. I spawn in with my hands tied behind my back and they have to, like, untie me. I'm not actually exaggerating. Look, that's literally how, how they pick how you rescue people in this game. I wonder if I, like, get any penalties for having died. Aside from upsetting the god emperor of mankind. God emperor. Kinda pissed off that I fucked up. Holy fuck, look at that shit. Is that not glorious? This is the view from the Ogryn. I see he's a lot of death. Mm -hmm. lot he's of just death. hitting them once. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. Aww. Yeah. Okay, that was definitely a glitch. The guy there just crawled right through the wall. <laughs> but you know what? No big deal. Nothing's ever a big deal. guy here looks like he used to be a priest at 1.2. Goddamn traitor. God damn parasite! Is he jerking off? What the hell was he doing right there? Uh, me? No, uh, the guy. Uh, me? The uh, enemy uh, right in I guess he was. Fucking degenerates. You can't trust any of them. Am I right? Down into darkness. I would love to get down on darkness. What? What? Holy fuck. Oh, there's a sniper over there. A sniffer. Someone's being sensed. I'll have to get over there and Investigate. Oh, I'm being fucked in the ass. One second, I need to get back. Very nonchalant about the whole act, aren't you? 
Eh. Guess you've got experience, huh? Perhaps. <laughs> okay, it's oh def the increasing the difficulty of the game definitely increases the length of the game as well. Oh, so much for the bonus objective. Oh well. Looks like we can actually beat this level, maybe. Yeah, with someone we lost Gratius. We'll have to pick him up in a bit. If we survive that long. Something tells me we will survive that long. Holy fuck. God damn it. I understand. It's not that this gun is actually a burst rifle, it's that you have to use it like a burst rifle or its recoil it gets stupidly high. Alright, let's get Gradius. <laughs> Wish the game would show me how much ammunition my friends have so I can determine whether or not I should pick up ammo or not. Activate the auto cleanser. Did you learn nothing from Dirty Bomb? You play a Sky Hammer and only give ammo to yourself. That's very true, or you play as Sparks and you only heal yourself. Yeah, those are your health packs. They're not for sharing. Bring your own. Now, if you're proxy, you're very generous and you have to deliver pizzas to everyone. Pizza, pizza delivery girl. Best class. The, as much as I hate Guardian, that's the best part, is that I just don't have to heal anyone. I fucking hate Guardian. I think everyone does. Except, uh... <gasps> Holy think... fuck, tentacle hentai. Holy fuck, tactical hentai. Is it not? Look at this Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Oh my god. Get the fuck off me. God damn it. In the grim darkness of the 41st century, there's only sex. <laughs> it sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know what? That was that was actually really cool to watch. Or her shooting the shit out of whatever the fuck that is. And the music playing right now, Chef's Kiss. This is this is definitely a, the game of all time. Holy fuck! Ah uh, yes, these beats are delectable. <laughs> Can you guys fuck off, Jesus Christ! I'm only disappointed that they did not put Alex Jones into this game. He's been way ahead of the curve on the intentional <laughs> demon invasion. <laughs> oh my God. I'm afraid he's too busy dealing with the gay frog infestation. <laughs> well, Slanesh made the frogs gay. <laughs> so, another one of them doggos. Yay. Oh my God. Did they kill this thing already? I'm gonna die again if I don't spam my special. There we go. Ah, for fuck's sake. Uh, thank you, Cherry. Credit to team right there. Oh, that was nasty, but also glorious. Initiate system restoration. Uh, sure, game. I will do just that. 
I don't even know what we're restoring, but I'm sure it's important. Wait for the system purge. Oh, we're purging the water, that's why. They said the water was making the... Oh my god. Yeah, this whole mission was about, like, purging the water system or whatever. Nasty, though. You stupid motherfucker sniping the shit out of us. Oh. Hey, Caradrine. How are you doing? Welcome back. Ayo. Ayo, Ayo. Who's that Adeptosaurus looking character? Or cutie? Um, which one? Myself or Cherry? We're both uh, fanatics, which are not quite Adeptosaurus. We're kind of like the. We're basically the uh, priest, the um, ecclesiarchy of this game. If you play Dawn of War, they're essentially the equivalent of priests. <laughs> Close enough, though. I like that this game has you literally make your character or customize your character and then you can choose a background and stuff for them, which changes some parts of your gameplay. So, I'm pretty much role-playing as... I'm basically role-playing as a Adeptosaurus in all but name. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a lot more detailed than I was expecting for a herder run and shooty and stabby game, honestly. Cherry is being left behind. Come on, girl. Let's go. There we go. You know, you're not kidding. She does look like an Adeptosaurus. I'm pr probably pronouncing it wrong, so I apologize. Okay, let's go. Let's run. Come on, let's go. Please. Come on, Cherry. Come on. But we have to get kills. We we don't even get extra shit for, or do we? I don't know how the money system works in this game. My hey, freckled milk. Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Well, that was a job well done, I would say. Am I doing? How am I doing? I'm doing okay. It's almost 5 in the morning here, but having a fairly decent time with Dark Tide. This might be a game to keep after all. Play regularly. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, if you're celebrating. Complaining of thy lot is the first step on the road to damnation. Single act of leniency is a key to a lifetime's betrayal. <laughs> Doubt not thy strength will as it prevails. Hope is superfluous. Shame he can't play as a commissar in this game. Greetings, operative. Greetings, operative. Uh huh. I don't have any new cool stuff to buy. Eh, I like my auto gun, is it? I hope I... I love my character. True badass. Wow, your character looks like a badass. I know, right? Catherine, how are you doing tonight? 13 hours ahead, which... Probably seven in the seven in the right now here in the I'm doing all right given that I've been streaming for about five hours now morning having a great time here with two of my best friends played I played uh this game long enough to at least unlock this bitch and top a uh, top armor I'm still wearing some prison trousers. Like I'm stepping, it's kind of like I'm 
it's like a cosplay from the 1990s that's only replaced the bottom half so far and is in the process of replacing their top half. Prison chick, yep, that's right. This is what the stance. Stuff there. This game is pretty bare bones at the moment, but. Almost done. Oh, okay. So you get stuff for doing these achievement things. I wonder what these little wreaths are for. Do you use those to buy something? Give me your secrets, game. Or maybe it's because... Or maybe I need to get strong... This game is making me want to play until I'm in love. Make sure you are drinking water while streaming so long and have a yummy snack too. I'm to I'm caught. Thank you for the hydrating. Sleep in there. Or if I should play till level eight. Lock whatever the fuck this cure. Oh, uh, how close are you to level eight? Because you sound tired. I think it looks like I seem to game. It looks like I'm leveling up every game. Literally every game. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming that. I'm hoping that it's like other games where the amount of points required to level up scales, but it doesn't seem like that. Maybe because I'm still in single digits. Well, you just increased your difficulty level, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I started playing on the second difficulty level. Fucking boring after the third one. Maybe one more game would be enough to unlock whatever this thing is. But I'm starting to get fall into that gotcha trap of, oh, just one more game. <laughs> because then it's going to be like, oh, what if I just gain two more levels and I can for fucking... Well, we already lost them, boy. The them, boy. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was 8 o'clock, so it must be 9 in the evening. He's had a long day. True. Yeah, we'll save more for the next chat. Let's find someone to raid, though. He is cute, though. I'm glad I got to talk to him. Ben boy needs to hand out, hang out with us more. Actually, I do open, uh, have more of these open mic night type things. Makes streaming and go by. Hey, yo, is that Valkyria Chronicles? Yes, it is. I used to play Valkyrie Chronicles. Dude, I'd recognize Rosie anywhere. Oh my fucking god. The sin has been released. <laughs> Too tired to play Strive right now, though, so I'll do it every time. <sighs> oh, yeah, yep, I... everyone's playing Strive again. <laughs> I just got back into... I replayed VC4 again. You're gonna stream Valkyrie Chronicles, or Catherine? Good shit. Good choice. should do for my birthday stream nothing too special just have friends over are you gonna be what able do you to mean, nothing too special oh he's back oh welcome back <laughs> i hope um, you didn't hear all those I, nice I, I things to, i said about him i i, I had to mother some uh, consumables mommy no not mommy oh well, anyway, um, um, my birthday is going to be kind of hectic because we're going to be doing final preparations for vacation where we have a flight to catch the morning after. Um, but I should be, I'm planning on streaming 
starting really early in the morning in my time so that I can spend time or spend one last stream with everyone for a few hours from morning to Oh, okay. Uh, I morning I could have sworn you were leaving on your birthday. Uh we're leaving in the, on December the tenth. So Saturday after. What fucking suck we Oh my god. Imagine having birthdays. Thanks, Try. It's the probably the best VTuber fighting game player server. Or at least the only one that I know of that actually goes to these things and competes and, and competes on a on a money level. Like he went to Evo and shit. Um, the Iron Jew is a one of the first Femboy VTubers I first started following when I became a is it this? I don't really get to see their streams he because he streams here, fucking really these hours. If... Be a possible yeah, option for raiding. Or we can raid okay. Animata. I'm surprised Animata is even still awake. Because I'm pretty sure she's based in the States, but I could be wrong. Hmm? Oh, I remember most of the fanboy YouTube VR chatters, so they're currently streaming from VR chat right now. God, imagine, imagine playing VR chat. How cringe. All right. How cringe. Why don't we be a chatting again? <laughs> Probably sometime Saturday. I want to say. I believe this weekend is a very exciting time to raise your voice. It is. We're gonna be doing some karaoke. Karaoke. Oh yeah, Karadrine. I still need to defeat you at least once in battle. We need to play Strive together again. <laughs> if I, Lolzy, if I beat you at Strive, what will I get? I've never played Strive. That's a good question. It's Black Friday. I'll download Strive. I'll plug in my Nintendo Pro Switch controller, which is the first controller I have had since 1994. Is Strive even on sale? Check. Might be. I don't freaking know, but it might be. And if it's not, well, I don't know. I'll just sell. I'll, 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 I'll eat some. I'll eat some sausage until I can have it. It is on sale. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Carrie Jean says then, karaoke. I've gone so very on a hinge and strive. If I, if I beat you in strive runes, it's twenty five percent off. Get? What do I get? I honestly don't. I need a. I need a prize. I need like a definite, epic prize. Well, last time Since... I played against Lulz, we decided that winner tops. So. That's not fair, because I always top anyway. <laughs> you introduced a Yuzansen loot mind game into my tool set? Oh great, that's just why I need more mind games, and already a game that's full of mind games. <laughs> if, I, uh, if, 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 if I win, I get the new Tesla. If you win, you get a motorbike of your choice. My prize is bigger because I'm a noob. <laughs> If you win the Tesla Cybertruck, I'm gonna throw a metal. No, ball I don't want the, the Cybertruck. I want the like, I want the 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 which one's a good one? The Model S. I think it's the Model S. I'm gonna throw a big metal ball at the window. Don't worry, it won't break. Don't <laughs> throw big balls at my windows. And throw them at my face instead. Throw both of your balls. Yeah, two at a time. <laughs> I want to feel that collateral damage going slap. And I swear to fuck, these things better be shaved too. Oh my god, there's nothing worse than short and curlies in your teeth. Oh, Jesus Christ. GP Sensei. <laughs> Sensei Yuri. I don't know what. Why it looks like they look in Twitter photos. Oh, would you like some rating suggestions? Sure. For anything right up for anything. Hey, yo, anything. boys. Hey, yo. I think we're in. I think we're in. The gateways to heaven are open. Full spread eagle. Go to town. I've known Carol. We have an option. Uh, Willowed Wisp. A wonderful, wonderful VTuber. 
is currently Blue. streaming Overwatch 2 for the first time ever. They normally stream Valorant, for which I bully them relentlessly every day. How do you spell that They name? are finally playing Overwatch 2, which is nice. Minty is currently streaming Minecraft. Minty's wonderful, but her internet is uh, absolute and utter poop. Right this moment, it's not lagging, but five minutes ago it was lagging, which I'm assuming that five minutes from now it will lag again. Valorant stream. Jerry Clouds is playing Zomboid, which was a collaboration that we had amongst about 42-ish different VTubers about a week ago that I took part in. But only about four or five people have survived so far and have endured the pain, which has been going on for over a week now. And she is one of the last men standing. <laughs> Enduring. Also, she has made her own 3D model, which is very impressive. So, options. I am I am gifting options. The fourth person that I have today is a potential raid that is also Application Bot's current number one 100% compatibility rating. Uh, rating. Rating, rating. As suggested on my stream deck is uh, I should raid a lol's time. Aww. My bot is currently saying that we should app, like at all cost raid this place. Alright. How do you spell your name again? Lol's time. I can't read myself though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who would you like to raid? Uh, I traditionally like reading people that don't have that many viewers at the... God, we have like half a you dozen... want small? Let's have a look. Who who of these people is suffering the most right now? Uh, we got three... Sherry has one. a lot of people right now, for surprisingly. She's normally hovering around a single digit. She's in the doubles. Minty is in the doubles as well. Very unusual. And, uh, Wisp will be in the doubles, but she's only just started streaming 12 minutes ago. She's still in the single digit. We I could. would say if you wanna if you, if we if we wanna do the the the, the charitable and uh, Minty just lagged out completely and utterly. Uh -huh. I would say probably maybe say hello to Cherry. Cherry would be a good one. How do you spell her? Cherry underscore clouds. I'll, oh. I'll, 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 I'll ping it to you. No, I found it. Found uh, it? they're Big playing Zomboid, right? guys. They are playing Zomboid. They are one of the last standing survivors in the game that, well, I was in. Wait, you mean... I died 47 times in three hours and I just surrendered. Sting. I, I, I got whooped. I got absolutely whooped. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Nice to say hello to them. Or if your average is increased. For tonight's raid message, I've always been fond of some form of uh, Lulz, Lulz raid, but I think in honor of Dark Tide, we'll be doing something. Bright Tide raid. We killed more zombies than you. No, I'm overtaking this place, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. In the form <laughs> of this. Even in cringe, we still surf. I want to see if it actually works. Because like half the time, these raid messages just embarrass me because they just end up going... Uh, bunch of exclamation points. It works! <laughs> all right once again mm -hmm. chad thank you so much for all your time for visiting for interacting look forward to serving you again soon and have a good night good morning, good afternoon thank you for watching stick around for the raid you get 250 points for it oh my god we've already gone you can serve me anytime Mals. <laughs> hey, yo hey, yo Yo! This time! Hi, thank you for the raid! <laughs> Even in cringe, we still serve! Yo, yo, what's up? Hi, everybody! Welcome, welcome! 
I am Cherry Clouds. I am a Cloud Fairy VTuber, and we Yay. are trying to learn how to play Project Zombie. I'm glad I could hop on to here keep for dying once. because that's how it happens. <laughs> I bring <laughs> friends. Oh, thank you, Vim. Hi, Vim's friends. Welcome, welcome. 